Ryan's playing on Jack Rewald. So Jack Rewald, as we know, has been playing up, up the ground a little bit. And the, Jace, in the middle of the ground where it's going to be won, you have a look at the Tigers midfield versus a depleted midfield for Gold Coast Suns. Centre bounce from the MCG, the Gold Coast Suns against the Tigers. And that's Matt Thomas returning to the team for Richmond. He hasn't played since 2014. And uh, it's great to see him back in the team around 20 last year. So it's almost a year absence. But Day guiding Gold Coast it wide out to half forward and away from Matera, who's also finding some of his best form. Really interesting to see Harley Bennell is going to go with Brandon Ellis. They're going to go head to head on a wing. It's going to be a good matchup. He's done that a bit in the last few weeks. Harley, Harley Bennell went head to head with Gaff a couple of weeks ago. And the, the ball is over the line and out of bounds as Cameron Tack get over. So Ranch goes to Dixon and Chaplin to Lynch. It's going to be a very important matchup. It's just a matter of whether Gold Coast can yep. get enough ball, quality ball to those forwards. Shaw ghosting in from the side. That, oh, gee, it looked like that was in the back, but not deemed so by the umpire. Kane Lambert a little lucky, perhaps. Just for that matchup, Joe, I'd like to see Dixon go up the ground and put Chaplin on Lynch deep, just to see how he goes down there, Chaplin full back. So Riscatelli's been hard at it a couple of times now already. Ball spills out to Nichols. No real effective disposals yet. And there's another one that's a high up and under from Riscatelli standing underneath it. Maric does well. Vostone. Out the back to Griggs. So Griggs kick up towards the half or flank position and a good mark taken there by Day over the top of Vickery. And running down the ground, Aaron Hall to half forward, but again it's turned over and uh, kicking so far has been pretty ordinary. Bit of pressure out there early on, so just settling the nerves. Matera does well from the side. Ellis has to beat three. He does pretty well. Now he throws the ball out. I think he might have been a bit lucky not to be called for throwing the ball on that occasion. In the meantime, it comes back to Hunt. Richmond now trying to open up the play. Hooley does it well. Goes that wide. Lost run from Rance. Yep, and Rance has got the ball at halfback. He has. He just saw Dixon coming. Gave it to Vickery. The initial fumble hurts him. Colin Jasny, he got muscled out of it. Well done. Tigers eventually Rance, and now Alice with a bit more space. He's hurried the kick. Revolt didn't mind, although Mays done the due diligence there and got it away nicely. And kept them going now through Shaw, who switches to halfback. Dangerous kick. Yeah, it was. Nichols on the job, though. He mopped it up well for a big man. And Hall kicks it along the line. It's going to sit there and wobble over the boundary line and out of bounds. Well, if they're going to be competitive in this game, the Gold Coast Suns, the first thing that needs to improve is the field kicking. They are just missing target after target at the moment. They're kicking at a 17% efficiency rate. Josh Hall returning to the team. Just his sixth game. Amazingly, it's his third game against the Tigers for the Gold Coast Suns in a very brief career which has been hampered by injury. And Bennell was over the ball. Morris for the Tigers. Just held it up nicely, got it out. Didn't panic at all. To Dustin Martin who kicks to the right spot. Vickery gets front spot. That is jumper grab. No at the umpire. The ball spills out to Lambert. Greek inside 50 looking for revolt. Good punch away there by May. Matera at the fall of the ball. Wants the boundary line and finds it. We have a throw in 60 metres out from the Tigers goal. A couple of great defensive spoils from May already. He's got great closing speed. Right? And Jack Rewell will have to uh, beat his best today. Marich just wondering where Nichols was. Nichols gets there. <laughs> Brett Delidio, as we talked about, back in the team. Such an important player for the Tigers. One of those weapons Damien Harwick really needs to be up and firing if they are going to threaten in September. Aaron Hall, career best, 28 disposals. He's relished the opportunity was last week, relished the opportunity to get a run in the midfield in the absence of all their first liners. Here's Charlie oh, Dixon. Stolen. Physically imposing himself on the MCG. Shaw, the setup. Harbrow from the side. Lost out. Could almost get 50 yeah. there. Again, it's a pretty ordinary inside. Very fit. ordinary. Tom Lynch was the target, Jase. Either out Harbrow. here. They are out here. And kicks into the shade on the wing. And Lennon, who's impressed us so much this year. Getting some time in senior footy. Gets the Tigers going to half forward. An ambitious kick. Day back with a flight. Vickery coming the other way. We'll call it a draw. Yeah, a couple of big lads there. Match up on each other. Day and Vickery. So the uh, 
two defensive players at both ends, well matched up at the moment. Midfield is where you'd think the Tigers would have the advantage, especially with this bloke in his 150th game. The skipper Koch, and look at that, wanted it hard. Put his boot on the ball, did it well. It came out to Lambert, bit fortuitously, but they get it forward. And a nice mark has been taken by Vickery, who presented beautifully. Looks up, oh. was he being held? Yeah, Almost. I think he was. There uh, should have been a free kick to Revolt in the goal square, but Shaw has been very busy across halfback so far. And the kick from Vickery was an ordinary one. No 15, so the umpire calls play on. Assad has the ball at halfback flank. Has a bounce, looks up, not much on, so he retreats to defensive 50. Shaw will get another one. Cool. Just off. <laughs> and now switches to Day. He's been prominent thus far from halfback. He gets it low to Lonigan, another who's had real opportunity with the injuries to play in the midfield. He's got a tagging role on Cochin today, it looks like. But options in the middle took Miller in a bit of space. Miller have poked it around pretty effectively. Melchewski now confronted by Ellis. Got the kick away. Matera outsized down there. Fought the fight pretty well. Taylor Hunt was captured and pressure on the Tiger defence. They stand up okay. Lambert dabs it to halfback. Now they can get going. Miles been outstanding. Not the best of kicks though. Day he doesn't take the mark and Delinio goes and fires the ball and comfortably under the chest for Jack Revolt who will have a little think about it but probably should go back and shoot for goal. Jack? He had, oh. he had a short option with Ben Lennon yeah. but he was he wide him. wasn't he? Do you think that would have been a wise choice? Well he's certainly in range where Lennon was so he's whether he makes a distance there is a little bit of breeze swirling around out there. This will take a very good kick. You would have thrown him out of the full forward union uh, if he had to pass it off, Joe, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, as long as he makes a distance here. <laughs> you know, Sam Day did everything right, read the ball well, just dropped that chest mark, and that's resulted in Revolt having a shot. Didn't take a mark last week, Jack Revolt. Very rare indeed. Only seven disposals. Just kicked the one goal. So here's Revolt from outside 50. It's on its way. Why oh, did he think hit. of passing? Oh, you should have known better, Jason. <laughs> It's a really penetrating kick. That's a very, very good kick. We're out there watching them in the warm-up. A few of them just finding kicking from the 50-yard reasonably difficult with a little bit of breeze there, but he struck that absolutely beautifully. So the ball from halfback, the quick transition. Miles using the ball Come well, on, and there he, he read that well. Read it well, Dad, but you've got to take the mark. You get punished so quickly by the good teams. So Jack Revolt on the board, the first goal coming after some uh, nearly seven minutes of play. First score of the game, Tigers six, Gold Coast nil. Back in the centre, so just a little turnover. It's been more about the Gold Coast not being able to hit the target or making mistakes than being dominated by the Tigers at the moment. They get it inside 50 again. Now a chance. Harbrow's kick, it bouncing, 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 and over the line for a throw in. Really good crumb there from Martin. But as, as a coach, Spud, seven minutes into a game, surely you'd want your team to have laid one tackle by now. I know Richmond are on top through this game, but still not to lay a tackle is a little bit disappointing. Yeah, no, that's a very good point you, you make, Moons. You, you can't afford to play perfect football all day. You've got to make sure you do the defensive aspects to the game. Dixon and Herbert loves his tackles. Dixon just over committing there, and the free kick going rounds his way. Now they're out again through Lennon. Oh, ball in dispute on the wing. Day has been wherever the ball has so far, and the handball far from perfect. Maybe the tackle a bit questionable too from Jack Martin, but at least they're showing that aggression at the man, and they earn a free this time. So they've laid eight tackles, yeah. the Suns. Ty Vickery has just gone and stationed himself, loose in defence here for the Tigers. So he's blocking a big hole at the top of the corridor inside the 50 metre arc. We know they've got some firepower down there with Lynch. And Dixon, the ball falls a bit short of those two players and the Tiger defence can go to work now. Taylor Hunt taking it all the way back to Chaplin. He lines up Alice as they work to this member side. Although there's not a lot more down the ground. He's decided to trust his skills and put the faith in Dustin Martin. But the ball, you can't account for the way that will bounce around. And it's over the boundary line and out of bounds on the wing. Jesse Nottingham there on Dustin Martin. Just interesting that the two Gold Coast entries... Lynch and Dixon haven't competed either or. They both stayed deep on that occasion. One's got to come at the ball carry. Nichols got the tap. Took Miller. Big bomb. Here we go this time. Danny, out they come. Dixon trapped it with his foot. At the fall of the ball was Martin. That's a Jack Martin, but it's picked up by Hooley. He gets it working now. Out wide. Newman. 
on centre wing, twisting and turning, does well. Finds another 5, 10, 15 metres, then the kick is up to his captain in Cochin. One grab, didn't quite hold it. The Lydia at the fall of the ball, they've got the flash boots on today, the Richmond Stars. And Lennon gets one in the back and will take the free kick. I think Rocket Eve would mind that too much at free kick because their tackling pressure has been superb, as Cam Mooney alluded to. Plenty of numbers back here too, Danny, for the Gold Coast. Yeah, they'll have to spot a target up or go long to the top of the square, Ed, but it's he'll be looking for a short target here, Chaplin. Oh, he doesn't get one at all. Took Miller, positioned himself in just the right place, and now goes in an attacking frame of mind for Dixon, but he had Tiger defenders all around him, so unless he took the mark, he was in trouble. He didn't really attack the ball to take the yeah. mark, though, Charlie Dixon. But the play on Jace forced him to kick yeah. to, to yeah. Dixon. He just had to hold, knowing that most of his teammates were either lateral behind the ball. There's a lot of targets being missed at the moment. And there's Hall winning a free kick. Yeah, the Tigers are only going at 52% Oh, he has a look now he's seen him. Cameron's kick ends up being effective Got enough Matera, today. You can move it quickly. They've taken all, just yeah, a little too bit long. slow. Moments. Moments pass now. But they still have the, the tall forwards to go long too. Although the kick, oh, here's Dixon trying to get there to the intersection. No mark paid. Taylor Hunt swooping. Lennon back to Morris. Oh, oh he's kicked it to the bench. Yeah. The, the attendant on the bench <laughs> dropped the mark. I saw Dustin Martin wanted to yeah. kick it to him. <laughs> Tyrone's old man there, John Vickery, the interchange steward for the Tigers on the market. You've got to work on his marking skills. Yeah, he but does, uh, and take it in the hands. Eyeball from Day, inside 50, uh, well... You've got to cause a contest there. Big oh, Charlie Dixon. He's getting frustrated. Yeah, well, he had to bring that ball to ground. I think his frustration is that he didn't think the kick gave him a chance to get there, Spud, so they've got to find a target that can at least compete. So they've had five inside 50s to Gold Coast, and... I'm hard pressed to think of actually them having a disposal inside that forward 50 other than one under pressure. So Delidio does well, keeps his feet, rule number one, and as a result, he gets the ball, kicks it long up towards Rewalt. Magnificent kick, great skills, everything you want. His forward was then able to run to the right position. Rewalt kicks it up towards the forward pocket in the back in the from back. Lloyd. Clear hand in the back. So again, from one end to the other, it's a kick to kick at the moment in this game. Only one shot at goal, and that's from Revolt. Mark taken by Jack Martin at half back. This is the kick that's let them down the next one. And again, Martin's just going to have to go up the line and hope for the best. And uh, Riscatelli does well. That's probably a win for the Gold Coast in that situation. A throw in on centre wing. He wasn't sure it was coming to him, Riscatelli, but it was actually a well weighted kick that. At least was to his advantage, so he at worst was probably going to break even in that contest. Vickery taking his turn in the ruck. Down to Lambert, eventually releases. Miles skies it to half forward. Again, the uh, aerial supremacy with the Suns, making sure that the, the tackle defence was made, and then the lovely tackle laid. Yeah, they're tackling well. It's 10 tackles to one now. But the good quality of tackles where they actually get the free kick for them. Isn't the opportunity to rebound. So, Chase, how would you set up the forward line for the Gold Coast? Because they're getting plenty of the balls, you say, but it's just bouncing straight out of their Well, it's, it's the inside 50s. It's not necessarily the structure of the forward line. They've got to carry the ball further before they kick it and make sure they at least get a 50-50 contest at worst. I think most of those entries you'll find, Jace, are in about 30, yeah. uh, 48, 45 shallow, metres. It's just shallow, too shallow, isn't it? Yeah. Well, they've controlled it pretty well here and opened it up for Hall to run onto again on the outer side. Let's see the entry. He's, he's got to hit that target. Yeah. It's the right option, but he missed the target. Followed up, Aaron Hall got, flicked the handball out. Let's see where this one heads towards. Full forward. Leeds oh, got it. Up. Russell delivered it. He used his body well, didn't he? He just used the rear end. He just backed his backside into Chaplin and just worked him off the ball. And I think this is the matchup that Rodney Ede will try and exploit. Chaplin's a very good player. But he's more suited to up the ground. So I've just noticed that Lynch is trying to always reset around 15 to 20 metres to really put pressure on Chapman. He's kicked five, four and four in his last three games. So he's an outstanding goal-kicking form, Tom Lynch. A leader for the Suns, needed to stand up and put it through. And he knew that. Scores level. Well, it's exactly what... Uh, Jace, you, yourself and Cam Mooney were talking about getting a, a deeper entry. And you have a look at the bo ball use here. Chaplin's positioning was okay, but with just that, as you said, turned his body and extended.
the ball drop and, and protected the area where the ball was going to drop magnificently well. That's great use of the body there from Lynch. That's a great contested mark. Nothing Chapel could do on that occasion, just far too good, Lynch. Hasn't heard him being the acting captain the last month or so, has it? Look at those numbers. Very, very impressive, averaging three goals a week. Jay, yeah, Jay, 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 it, with, with those stats, with those numbers, are you surprised that Rance hasn't gone to Lynch? Yeah, I am. I, I just assumed he was going to go into Lynch. Uh, Burns, there's no doubt in that whatsoever. No. Well, it's, 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 a, it's a point worth discussing because the fact is I think they prefer... And Spud, you said earlier you thought Lynch should take Chaplin back to that last line. I think they like Rance playing on the last line. Yep. And if Dixon's there, he'll play on him. Yep. If Lynch played out of the square, I reckon Rance would play on Lynch then. Yep. And oh, probably sure. what it does, it, having Rance deep doesn't allow Rance to come off his man and, and help Chaplin on, on Lynch. So Rodney Eads uh, happy to exploit that. So the Swans Premiership star Nick Malcheski kicking inboard. Now they've got players out wide. You can see that. Saad looks out to Shaw. And Lynch, you've mentioned there, Jase, uh, since round 17, equal number one in the AFL for scoreboard impact at 97 points. So he's certainly had a great month. I understand why the whole focus of Gold Coast is making sure he is signed up because he's a sort of key position player you build a team around and he's got great leadership. Aaron Hall goes long, fall of the ball, needed to get this one, the Gold Coast. Good play as they wrap up their Tiger opponent there in Lambert. And they'll have a ball up. So not blown away at any stage. Uh, making the play, if anything, the Gold Coast at the moment as Harborough gets it from Shaw, goes back, saw the colours. Didn't quite hit the target. Briscatelli was over the top. Crunch going for the ball was Aaron Hall, but they finally prevail. Next kick, an important one. It's high, and they have to get to it, and they do. It's a good so, kick. Now they're right on. Got Malcheski now. This would be a beautiful kick. This is where you want your, your best ball users. And Bennell's one of them, and so is Malcheski. And the next kick goes to the pocket. And, and he lets everyone line. down, Ed. <laughs> that sort of kick and build up. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. Uh, Greg did really well there. He overplayed the left leg. So he just made sure the only kick that Malcheski had was in the pocket. Throw in. Forward pocket for the Gold Coast. Nichols trying to grab his own ball. Shaw over the top of it. Hard at it was Martin. In the end, though, it's picked up there by Lloyd. Gets it out. Revolt flicks it out. Kick out from Batchelor, but it's coming straight back. It is Colin Jasny who has a powerful left boot and he can deliver with style. Although Lynch doesn't mark. Lonigan, Matera, still dangerous. That was an indiscriminate handball. And it opens up for Alice and Richmond. And the Tigers haven't really come out firing today, you have to say. After no. Disappointing six-goal loss last week to Adelaide. No. You would have expected an immediate response. They've only had one tackle in 20 minutes of football, the Tigers. High ball for Alice. He's got Lambert ready to charge. To the 50 off the left boot, Vickery. And he takes the mark OK, but it's a tough shot. It is a tough shot, but having said that, Gold Coast should have scored down the other end, so they get the opportunity for a two-score turnaround. He played on. And kicked oh, a God. goal. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just like that. It's a good finish in the end. He saw something that dried up very, very quickly. He took a step off the line. So, look, they had numbers here. Didn't quite take the mark, but that is just a rotten yeah. handball. I mean, you're not entitled to miss a target like that over such a short distance by hand. Well, if there's nothing on, he's better suited by just getting the ball over his shoulder, Just Especially from a skilled yeah. player like Matera. Though. So he was looking for Cochin. He thought it dried up, so he snapped it and kicked it. So a good kick from Tyrone Vickery in the pocket. Sometimes a little bit better when you're forced to play on like that. You don't have to think too much about it. Just relied on his natural instincts. A couple of the Tiger stars, Ed, uh, down. Martin, just two disposals, and Cochin only one so far. So Nichols gets the tap. Up to half forward from Collegesny. Good tackle again. He's falling down across half forward at the moment, the Gold Coast Suns. Getting plenty of opportunities. Ellis attacks the ball, stays in, stays in, and Ellis has got it. Picked up 20-odd metres there. Now he bangs it long into the forward pocket. Underneath it is uh, May, and they have a throw it in the forward pocket. And Ellis did well there. Attacked the ball and took them on and got it up to his forward line. Keep the metre! Been inside 57 times, Richmond, for two straight goals. 
Nichols comes at it and gets the tap down. Now they've got a chance oh, a for a snap, and it's bouncing through. It's been good, Kane Lambert, so far. And he's put that through. He's had nine disposals already today. Set up the last goal and gets that one off his own boot. And Come. Richmond three straight, Gold Coast just the one. We'll just have a look at the clearance here. And Nichols tried to put it down. It bubbled forward. It was really clean from Lambert, as you talked about. He, not only that, he's won four contested balls, three clearances. And just clean. Yeah, Adam, Sard, Adam yeah. Sard let him go and he got punished. Joe, I'm interested in Richmond's forward set up the centre clearances. The most players are nearly on the goal line, which opens up the 40 metre area behind the ball. So, all up the ground there, the Richmond forwards. So, the Tigers get the first break of serve, if you like, going back to back on the goals to lead by 12 points. And now they're away. Hooley, beautiful kick. Revolve just provided the target. The target it was wonderful stuff. Inside 50 with the kick, and Delidio's there. He just sensed it with that second consecutive goal there that the Tigers were just about to switch on. And that's what exactly they do. This bloke, beautiful kick of the football. Brett Delidio's kicked 163 goals, 129 in his 228 games, including today. Missing with the flu last week. So from 25 metres out on a 45 degree angle, the superstar from Punt Road comes in and makes no mistake, they've kicked three in a row and are out to an 18 point lead. Now he's a star, Brett Delidio. Beautifully weighted kick from Jack Rewald. And it was just great connection between the forward and the midfielder forward in Delidio. You, you just see here, Hurley hits up Jack Rewald. The key here, he turned as he's on the way back. Having a look for, assess his options, look at the weighted kick. And all Delidio had to do was faint back and then lead forward at the ball. That was a beautiful uh, passage of play there for the Tigers. Now the last three inside 50s are all been goals for the Tigers. So what was a pretty good start for Gold Coast in the, the first 12 or 13 minutes. They just need to, to win some ball here to... The Cold Coast Suns. And they do out of the middle through Hall. Hacked it up to about 65. And you can see Bachelor goes to ground. And Martin just cruising. Gets it back to Bennell. And he's a little unsure which way to attack it. And then he flicks the handball back to Russell. Delidio withstood the pressure. Cochin couldn't collect. Collar Jasny's certainly been lined for their best and fairest this year. Into Lynch. You can't take the mark. And that's at his best. Rant bounds away out of defence. And the kick not as good as the early work, but still, job just about done. Nearly took another mark, yeah. Lynch. He is the go-to guy, you're right, because Rance is monstering yeah. Charlie Dixon. He's feeling frustrated. He's uncomfortable that Rance is working him out of the contest, but Lynch is the one that looks likely yeah. to take the marks inside 50. Well, he's dropped... That, that was a contested situation, but he's dropped two opportunities now, Lynch. He can't afford to do that when you're playing in the state. You've got to make the most of your opportunities. Aaron Hall... Prime mover. Long kick, and here he is, Lynch to low. Rance went to the footy and took Dixon and now grabs the ball and sends Hooley away, who set a challenge out there for marriage. He's got to take on two. One big, one small, one fast, one not so quick. It's a little bit much for Big Ivan. And now Saad can bounce away and take the Gold Coast to the wing and maybe beyond. Well, decided to go backwards with the handball to Miller. Just took struggling Miller. to find options. Yeah. That was the problem. Nothing up forward for him. And as a result of that, they go to the smallest bloke in their side, Matera, and Morris is able to thump it over the boundary line. It's happened too much, hasn't it? Matera has been a, a connecting sort of target. Really good defensive structure from the Tigers, yeah. just not allowing free lead-up options. So Sam Day doing the ruck work up against Vickery. It was a Miller who came in from the back. And the ball goes over the line, out of bounds in front of Jesse Lonigan, who's got the job on Trent Cochin at the moment. So right now, the way Ranks is playing Dixon, if I'm Rodney Ead, I want Dixon to play as close yeah. to goal or even in the pocket, drag him as deep and out of the way as possible and give Lynch a bit more room on Chaplin. Lonigan was screaming there because he was one on three. No one came up to help him at the throw in. He was underneath. He had uh, Cochin. There was two other Tigers around the ball. In the meantime, Thomas comes in and gets the free kick. So they had the numbers there, Tigers, for a long time. So just looking to find a bit of space now. Thomas goes into the middle of the ground. And they come. So Hooley looks up. 
Beautiful pitches, as you can see, down the ground, over the head of the pack. Grigg runs onto the ball. He can look up and have a shot if he likes, and does. And oh, puts it oh, right through the middle. Oh. Knew what he was doing all the way. Sided up the goals, picked up the ball, and went bang. Beautifully called, Ed. Great transference of play from the back half from Richmond. Now look at the kick here. Bigger Vaughan, great use of the body. Just puts a hand on Josh Hall there to allow Grigg to run on. Grigg. Not a lot of time or space to assess his options. That is great counter-attack football. Really exciting to watch. Five goals straight to Tigers. You'll see a beautiful shot here over the shoulder of Grigg. What a magnificent finish. Fantastic to see straight goal kicking too, isn't it? Six straight goals in the game. A couple of tough ones from the Tigers. And that's where the, the Gold Coast Suns defence. As the Richmond forwards all starting up, someone has to be the wicket keeper. Too many times the ball spilling over the back and no one to, and Richmond are running onto an easy ball. Aaron Hall, he's relishing his time in the middle. His knife disposal could be a goal. It's high, oh, it's long, oh, it's a delightful. Goal. What a thrill for him. Well, what was really interesting in that is that I think the Suns are losing a little bit of confidence in Charlie Dixon and his battle against Ranch because you'll see bottom of screen. Dixon will lead straight up the middle towards Aaron Hall. Once he pushes off Ranch, he goes up the middle. But he doesn't really want to go to him. He just keeps running, running, running. Doesn't look for his key forward. Just backs himself to kick the goal. That's outstanding. So desperately needed goal there for the Gold Coast. They stay within three goals with a minute 44 left in this opening term. And if they could pinch another one here... It'll end up being a pretty good quarter for them. The Tigers getting on top with four consecutive goals in six minutes. Vickery, Lambert, Delidio and Grigg. And you can hear the umpire there. Free kick to Cochin. Played by the downfield umpire. They're just being held, obviously. They're keeping a close eye on the Richmond skipper. Punched away. Shot at goal there from Lloyd. Goes across the face. And that's the first blemish for the afternoon. A behind. So 31 plays 12. 27 minutes gone in this opening term, and as you can see, a minute 26 on the clock. Yeah, I've had two more inside 50s, the Suns. The Tigers have only had 10 for five goals, so they're going at 50% goal scoring efficiency. May ignored the short pass on that had some danger attached to it and goes to halfback Martin. He is a fantastic, highly skilled player when he's up and running. Uses Russell Lynch, bereft of options in the end, has to just give it straight up, succumb to the Tiger pressure. Submitted and now Thomas changed his mind. Probably a good decision. He didn't think he could hit the target. Long for Revolt and Vickery. This is too strong for Josh Hall on that occasion. Got it well. Revolt was going to fly, but he assessed the situation beautifully. Tom Lynch, though, you can't defend that, that handball turnover. That's twice we've seen a handball turnover. Matera up the other end. Richmond were just hunting and prowling Tom Lynch and he just hit the ball in hope with a handball and came back with interest. I'm with you though, Jase. I think they're, they're so frightened of going deep inside 50 to Dixon with Rance now. They're trying to manufacture other things. You can see there, Lynch just, just had to get it on the boot. Had a great one-on-one -on -one down the line, but just tried to manufacture a handball. So Tyrone Vickery, 14 goals, 7 for the season. That looks pretty good and it's coming back. And that's his second goal. So Richmond 6-1-37, and that is therefore Vickery's 16th goal of the season. And I believe he's 25 points, James. Might have been worried early that perhaps Gold Coast weren't quite, yeah. uh, sorry, Richmond weren't quite on. You can see the frustration right the Eve. They're up and running now, the Tigers. Yeah. They've preyed on a couple of areas from the Suns, but it's the quality of the finishing. Just, just leans Good on mark. his opponent in front, just pushes Hall under the ball. Doesn't go too far, doesn't yeah. use the hands, uses the arm, uses the body. Jase, uh, people will be watching this and say, why didn't Lynch just go and kick it? If there's no one there, even kick it as far as you can into their 50 and get it up the other end of the ground, maybe get a throw in or a stop play or something, but at least you can set up behind the ball rather than go backwards and, and turn over the handballs. Is yeah. there an answer? Well, look, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's very simplistic in the, in the philosophy you're preaching, Ed, and it yeah. makes sense, but the modern game these days is when in doubt, the player hangs on to possession. Yeah. And they back themselves to be able to make something out of it, to, to trap the ball, to hold the ball, to draw another teammate into play. 25 points. The Tigers have done really well. Gold Coast are playing pretty good football.
But uh, Tigers are doing what a good side should do to a team in the bottom four, and that is give them a belting here at the MCG. 25 points of difference at quarter time in favour of Richmond. Bring up the ground and just have a look at Lynch deep on Chaplin. I think that's the move that Rodney Eads looking at at the moment. So get him one on one yeah. and get your crumbing players to the fall of the ball of Lynch because only two things can happen with Lynch deep either he marks it or the ball hits the deck. Set about, said it's a beauty as we get underway in the second term. Nichols flicked it down, it's been hard going for Koch and he scrambles his fourth disposal forward. Delidio, bit of physical impact from the Tigers at the start of the term. Miles is ducked apparently, so there's no free kick, and now it's going to be holding the ball. As soon as he preempted it with yeah. your duck, uh, you then have to get the ball out. Anthony Miles not pleased with that adjudication. I could understand why he was yeah. the only one playing the ball. Oh, gee, too slow. He had yeah. no chance That's in the on. corridor. Riscatelli, more conservative, down the line. Morris might have drawn a free. It's Boston. He's had to struggle to stay in the team this year. Stephen Morris. Playing his 13th game. Good time to get back into yeah. the lineup, though, Hutto. He's just got to make sure he earns his keep, plays his role, and make sure it's uh, someone else that goes out if there's a spot that needs to be changed. Jace, do you think uh, for Morris that the Tigers, they're really like a hard nut who'll just do anything in a final? Well, yeah, and the other thing is, Ed, he's back playing down back. Yeah. Whereas for the first half of the season, they tried to turn him into that pressuring small forward. He's back playing his natural game. This is more than, well, I was oh. going to say, the more the Richmond style we've seen, which is the chip around in the back half and try and set themselves up slowly. But again, another missed handball opportunity yeah. there. You've just got to make the most of your opportunities. It was a turnover, and sure, it's all the option, but it just had, it wasn't on instinct. Well, Miles might have been disappointed with the free kick before. He got away with one there. He had plenty of opportunity. He took them on and no effective disposal. Umpire called for the ball up. We'll probably get another one here. Now it spills out. And Dustin Martin flicks it out. Lambert has been excellent today. The ball comes out now. Here's a chance. Hunt into the open goal all over the top. And he's able to just transfer play beautifully out to Chaplin. Look at that. They're just wide open out there. Got right out the back. His player had run off him. A great connection there, their defence now. Their ball use. Just wide open at the back no, there. It's too easy. You shouldn't yeah. allow Chaplin to get goal side there to yeah. Lynch on that and, occasion. And that's the problem there. Chaplin has just run off him on two occasions, got two nice disposals, and the ball goes up to centre half forward. Out comes Vickery, almost held it. Now he gets a second chance. Handball inside was an absolute beauty. Griggs kick just had a player in front of him, so he had to just change the angle on his foot. Gets it back from Lennon, goes again. Lennon goes in underneath it. They dive in, and we'll have a ball up. Going to pay another holding the ball. No, I never ball. Is it red eye? Yep, they are. Oh, look, I was about to say, I, I like the way Richmond are attacking the ball at ground level. They look a little bit harder than Gold Coast at the moment, and they're playing the corridor as much as possible. It's an exciting brand of football they're playing. They still haven't laid another tackle, Richmond. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Tackle watch here at the MCG. Harbrow, the margin at 25. Angled the kick. Kept it pretty low, tough for Boston. Well handled by Flostone, but uh, Martin had to really work hard just to dig in and get the ball to a teammate. So too Hunt. So the pressure is continuing. Flostone about to be hunted down by Bennell, and Rebot was smart to Delidio. Class rises to the top through those two players. Rebot to full forward. Vickery, oh, he is gaining in confidence. Hall on the last line, and safety first. And that's a matchup. It's a little bit of a concern. We've got a free kick here. Good. Free kick. To Hall. Push push yeah, for a push in the back, I think, as he was rushing the ball. Didn't look to be much in it. Oh, there wasn't a lot in it. Had a good uh, good start to the game. Aaron Hall, 10 touches in the first term. And a good kick out of defence, too. Up towards a one-on-one -on -one contest. The ball spills. Riscatelli over the top. Hooley's been very good today so far. He's grabbed an umpire will bounce it on this occasion. And it's really Let's have a look at this one, boys. So Tyrone just gives him a oh. shove in the back there. No, nothing in that head. No, that was the second one that cost him the free kick. Yeah. Play on. So Martin brings the ball out. Delidio from Thomas around the body. Up towards the half forward flank position. Shaw went in with his body, didn't quite hold it. Lloyd for the Tigers gets it back to Cochin in his 150th game. To Marich in his 150th game. To Ellis, who's looking for the boundary line and finds it. Will reset in the forward pocket for the Tigers, who lead by 25 points. Six goals to two. 
in this game so far. Richmond dead on target. Miller, Cochin, counters for Richmond, but he again had to improvise just to not give away the free. Swooping is Hall. Good agility. He had the handball with a, give it a lot of air for Bennell, which just slowed them down in terms of their movement. But they get out okay. Martin Dixon's worked hard. You've got to hit him. Didn't get up quick enough at all. Not a bad kick, though, I must say, to make up for it. Bennell's trying to push off Taylor Hunt. Oh, he's, he's got, got Lynch, Lynch on a good one. lead. Oh, Charlie, that's inexcusable. He's banged the ball long over Lynch's head. Instead, he went for Matera again. Well, that's the, the, the issue there. You hit Lynch, Matera gets to the front of the pack. So Matera was actually working his player deep and then assuming that Dixon was going to kick the ball to Lynch. So Dixon has to realise now that he's up the ground and his option, if nothing else is on, get it long to a contest with Lynch v Chaplin. Had a couple of cracks out of there, Nichols. Flossdown, what's the read on this one? It's a ball. It's a really important yeah. role for Charlie Dixon. If it Lynch is. is going to be the go-to guy, he can't afford to sulk. He can't afford to say, well, it's not my day and allow Rance just to peel off him and do other things. He's got to engage him. When he gets the opportunity to contribute, oh. he's got to take it. Oh, Morris was magnificent there. The ball bounced awkwardly for him two times. Two Gold Coast Suns players just waiting for the ball to bounce up to them. And Morris decided, no, I'll make the play here and set it up. And as a result of that, the Tigers were away. How good was Deledio by him at the time? Yeah, he's sharp, Deledio. Martin starting to assert himself now. Beautiful long kick. The sit from behind for Revolt goes up at the fall of the ball. He goes hard again. Tries to flick the ball at the back to Big Ivan. Can he do it in his 150th? He had a full head of steam. Unfortunately, the ball bounced sideways for him. Out of the defensive 50 go the Gold Coast Suns. Good play by Lloyd. Got to the ball. Took Miller, holds him up, and will get the free kick. Again. They're very consistent. Yeah. Yeah, you're gone if you can't help. He wasn't looking at all. He was looking at all. He'll get, get the ball this, here this, on the third occasion. So the Suns, you can see plenty of orange jumpers. Keep going. He's going to keep, keep going. going. He'll kick this. Oh, almost. And through for a behind. He's he is having right a now. day out, Aaron Hall. And so. good on him, too, because as we talked about, Ablett, no Ablett, no Swallow, no Amira. So the A grade midfield. Uh, there, so what it creates is an opportunity for Hall to get some quality ball in the midfield. And for their long term, that's wonderful yeah. development, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and I think that Damien Harwood's put Matt Thomas onto him now to, to try and tighten the screws on Hall. Well, we've always seen him as that live wire half forward, haven't we? But he looks like a... He's a good size, a though, fully isn't he? fledged midfielder that can just cover ground, run and carry, use the ball. 185 centimetres, uh, listed at 84 kilos at the moment. Aaron Hall. Is that Gary Ablett, Jager Jager. Jager. in the background. He's been very, he was very visible pre-game, Gary Ablett, out on the ground with his teammates and getting around them at the huddles. Jager's going to be busy scribbling things down, taking notes. Been taking a lot of notes this year, hasn't he? Gazza just cruising. There's the kick from Matera into the pocket. Flosstown cuts it off. And now Alice and things open up on this side of the ground. Chaplin's drifted further to halfback. He's got Hooli he can work with. The perfect handball, but not too bad. He can bounce now. And in his scope is Jack Revolt. He gets shorter than that. Well, it's going to get through to Revolt and May. Favoured May. There's Tiger Tackle. It's their third of the day. And no, the crowd will go crazy. Uh, they see it as inconsistent. <laughs> no, it was good call. Yeah, there was no prior there. It was a really good tackle, though. And that's that's the difference. Richmond are trying to hold the ball inside their forward 50. Martin just shoves Cameron out of the way. He's starting to become a more prominent player in this quarter, Dustin Martin, after Super a quiet hit. opening turn. The setup was great for Lennon. Lloyd is deep. Instead, it's Lambert in his focus. Well done, and well done, Melcheski, who got the read on it. Kills the contest. Bit of a standoff at the start of this second turn. So the Tigers uh, yet to score, and we've been going nearly nine minutes. The Gold Coast have kicked one behind so far. In this second turn, Riscatelli again has been busy today. Good left foot kick, clears the 50. Fumble, but then a good handball from Boston. Out to Matera gets go right through. in the head and lost down. Let it go. Matey Murnock, as they used to say, Jason. Careful. No, no, he no, 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 that's a free kick. Hold yeah, yeah. And when he got him high, he followed through on it. He said, well, if I'm going to get penalised, I'll keep going. 
And wrapped him right up. So the kick forward again. Off hands. Got his hands to it, Charlie. That's he's what now he's hobbling. Yep. Yeah, Thomas gets the handball inside. Now the Tigers come through the middle. Lambert has been excellent today. Brings it out to the members' side of the MCG. Hunt marks and backtracks. He's in real he's trouble, Jackson. He's going to come off. I hope yeah. that's not ankle trouble again. Yeah, I think it is. It's, it's definitely his right leg, Joyce. Yeah, he's coming off. All right. Well, it's opening up now for the Tigers to really put the boot down and get some percentage, which they need. It's early in the game to be talking like that, but this is where we are at the stage of the season. They need to not only get the four points, but they have to really put the foot down here and clean up the Gold Coast Suns. He's trying to put weight on it. You can see Charlie gets it there in the hands of the trainers. It's been but... a perennial problem for him, hasn't it? Uh, touch play on as Dwayne Russell calls it the chaos ball. Down to Lloyd. Left foot snap. That's the one. I think we're about to see. Melcheski said touch. Yeah, it's all clear goal. Well, there'll be a natural review of every goal as the ball goes back to the middle. They'll need to see something in the meantime. Nocheski goes over and tells the umpire he touched it. So it remains to be seen. We're seeing Charlie Dixon being assisted from the ground. He's got some serious problems with that right ankle by the looks of it. Okay, mate. So watch how he lands. Oh, that's rolled the right ankle big time. Let's see if Nick Malczewski gets a fingertip to this. Hard to tell from that angle. He claimed it straight away. But. Hard to tell. Man. Can't yeah. tell. Back in motion as the Tigers work through Flostone off half back. Hard to trap for Lloyd. And the Tigers fight amongst themselves out there. Newman, to get things synchronised. Guys, just a quick one on Dixon. He's gone straight down underneath. It's the same ankle that he hurt, I would say, round 15 against the Dogs up in Cairns at Kazali yes. Stadium. Yeah. Uh, did start putting some weight on it as he did get to the boundary line, so probably not as bad. Just one of those real bad stingers, boys. As a result, the coast have sent to Harley Bennell forward. Yeah, Richmond fans going for blood there down the free for Revo. Jack's having a look as well. I didn't think there was much in it, but let's have a look at the replay. He's got both arms around him, but are they being held by Revolt? I think, I think That's Jack had his elbows. Yeah. Damien Harwick's not happy, but I think Jack Revolt had his elbows sort of clenched around May's arms. Hold the man! That's, that's an old forward move, that one. Sponge has locked the arms in and try and yeah. get the easy free kick. Yeah, he's still pleading with the umpire, Jack Revolt. Just needs to play football now. Forget about that. Martin and Cotcher are starting to get the ball for the Tigers. They're, they're big names. Delidio was good in the first quarter as well. Just, Starting to have more of an influence now. Cotcher with a low, funny looking injury, really. I'm not Richard sure he Shannon. struck that the way no, he wanted to. To the college, Asni. Brings it out to May. So the Gold Coast Suns work it out. Well, a big space just opened up if he backs himself. Sard. Out wide. Harley Bennell. And it might be a bad thing, yeah. losing the extra tall up forward. Someone like Bennell goes forward. He's going to engage the defenders, and he's also very clever. Briscatelli inside. Nichols almost. He's short. The fall of the ball chips it over the top. Chance, chance, chance. Yes. I think it was kicked in the end by Russell. Yep. Just edged yep. it over the line, and it's a goal to the Gold Coast. Well, he did well then, Russell, because he thought, well, I let it shepherd it through. And that was his first thought. We have a look at the kick here, the snap from Shaw. It was going to roll through. So Russell was coming onto it, protecting the area, and then thought, no, Griggs going to get to it. I'll put the slipper into it. So a much needed goal there for the Gold Coast Suns. Good finish on the turn off one step. Good finish. Margin back to 24. That sounds strange, but it looks a more mobile forward line already with yeah. Charlie Dixon off the ground. The only problem is at the moment, Alex Rance is yeah. loose. Well, we don't want that for Gold Coast Suns because they will, uh, every time they kick the ball high, Rance, as we know, is one of the great interceptors and great defenders of the, the modern era. And it means there's a loose at the other end for Gold Coast, but I don't think they can afford to do that. Well, Lonnegan hands it straight over to Thomas. And Look quick goes great. Brent Delidio through the middle. He pumps it up long, not a very well-directed kick, Sard. The vagaries of the bounce. 
Yeah. He makes some provisions yeah. for it. He's hurt himself. He's, he looks sharp to lead out. Yeah. You just saw him pre-game. He, he nearly pole vaulted through the banner. He was that fresh. <laughs> that was a rare yeah, miss. Well. That was a rare miss for him. He's kicked the ball beautifully today. Maritz and Nichols take their position. Sneaks out the back. A little oh, bit of contest. uncertainty from both players about... Uh, yeah, it was really well protected, both players there. Riscatelli and Martin. Both turned their body, their head, sorry, away from the ball. Great execution of that hard ball. Harbrow. Boston, stumbling. Pooling. Skies it inside 50. And the rebound weighed it down. It was the right move. Unfortunately, the kick wasn't able to match the collect. And the Suns can come away again. And the this man, Aaron Hall, in the all right spots. And they, oh, he, he, was, he does try to go to the corridor long and in, in the end made a bit of a meal of it. It's Alice off the outside of the right boot. And could have passed it, given that he didn't have the right angle to goal. He perhaps could have passed it to Vickery. Certainly Tyrone thought so. No time for look away handles, though, uh, from Lonigan. Just play the percentages. Richmond's turn to, to dominate inside futures. This quarter, they've been in 10 times, the Tigers, for one goal. The first quarter, they went in 11 times for six. A much improved effort from the Gold Coast Suns' defence. Lennon, Boston for the Gold Coast. Dustin Martin flicks it up. Shaw's been good today, gets the handball going. So it opens up now for the Gold Coast on this member side. They've got a loose forward. They've got actually two on one if they can Good hit. lead from Lynch. Yeah, Hall's Chris. kick is a good one too. He can turn go, and go. Go, So Lynch has a bounce. They've got a long to Runs Matera. to 55. That's where he's going. Matera has to beat a couple though. Took too long. Strange kick. Yeah. Hunt read it beautifully off the boot. Handball inside, Ellis. Holding the ball. Holding the ball. Yeah, well, he's turning the, the, the 360, so... That is holding the ball. Really good tackling pressure from Gold Coast today. So it took Miller and have a shot from 55. Decides to kick to the lead of the pocket. It's a beautiful kick and Lynch yeah. takes it and can line up. He's finding the ball, Lynch. He's, he's finding space. You have to ask the question Stops what goal, what Rams was doing on that occasion. And the handball off to Matera. Is that a player deep in Bachelor in the square? And Rance was behind Lynch as well, so a little let off there for Richmond. Josh, what did you think of that play there with Lynch handballing to a tighter angle to Matera, who yeah, obviously yeah. can snap the ball? Would he have been better off just running around his left and having shot himself? I think he could have gone back and had the set shot almost yeah. from that sort of angle. There's plenty of angle from the pockets here at the MCG. Yeah. But I had a problem with his last inside 50 as well. He tried to kick it to Matera. He probably should have run, had a bounce and had a shot on the run. So they're getting opportunities, Gold Coast. They've just got to use them a little better. Hey, who's in front? There's Cochin, as we said, quite first turn, but starting to find it now. His 10th disposal back to the wing. When Nichols was stationed. Saad, Melcheski was coming. And that is holding the ball. Really good tackle there from Newman. He was set up somewhat from the handball, but he had prior. Kick inside 50. Lloyd waiting down to Vickery. Doesn't mark it, but he did. Well, that's a beautiful crack. That's the matchup. Josh Hall there. He's just finding his way. Vickery's experience. Moving well, Vickery. On out for goal number three. You can see that he's getting some confidence. Beautiful tackle from Newman. Yeah, Rodney not too happy there. An understatement. Phones probably seen better days. He's going to start imposing himself, Ty Vickery, hasn't he? He can really dominate this contest today. Well, belief might flow from the marking to his kicking for goal. That's his third. It can flow the other way as well. Yeah. You get a few goals on the board and suddenly you think you can do anything. Yeah. Uh, he's a uh, beautiful tackle from you. And this is what set up the goal. And all the Gold Coast Suns. And the, the key to that was... Newman got back quickly. It didn't allow Gold Coast to reset. Beautiful grab. Hall had to really go there. He trailed Vickery in. He had to come in and put some more defensive pressure on him on that occasion. But three goals straight's a great result for Ty. 
to be technical, was it prior opportunity, do you think, for Francesco? Yeah, it's a tough. difficult one. It was he, he, was, he was looking at options, step. I guess. But what I loved about the Newman tackle is when you're running someone down from behind, you've got to turn him. He turned him around. He didn't get in his back. So Nichols gets the tap with Victory in for the centre bounce, but they're starting to the running out of the centre now. Delidio imposing himself on this game. Lloyd just got the handball out in time. Lennon's kick into the pocket. Here we go. Jack gets the bad bounce. Now it sits for him. Just over the line out of bounce is the umpire. Throw in. So a great opportunity here for the Tigers again. Stop play. Ball to the top of the square. Vickery doing the ruck work against Nichols. Nichols gets the front spot. Taps it down. Paul again gets it working. Kolejasny up towards the halfback flank position. Harbrow had it and then lost it. Good play by Rance. Got it back to Hurley. Miles. Good twisting and turning. Opened it up. Back to uh, Rance. Caught one high from Harbrow. Takes the free kick. Prepared to go back to change the way they're going to head into the forward area. Vostern waits. The kick pretty well for Taylor Hunt. And now Chaplin. You can see the uncertainty over his face back to that was a Taylor great Hunt. Handle. Uh, just waxing and wrapping the numbers up. Not much else, really. No, they've got to be very considered now because when you move the ball slowly, the opposition gets everyone behind the ball. Best target is probably Revolt. May was ready for it as well. Lambert lays a good tackle, but May's got it to Miller. And uh, Lloyd took took and a tackle. Boys, good, good news down over. here. Charlie Dixon is just running past, doing some movement, doing some strides, doing some sprints. Looks to be okay. So throw in forward 50. Or just outside it at least. Ellis. Yeah. Nice centering left foot kick. Vickery got the front spot, used his body well. It spills to the back. May over the top of the ball, looking for the boundary line and finds it. Walked over by Day. May Day indeed. Bit of panic up there. And the Tiger fans have a Well, they want deliberate, but I don't yeah. think uh, I don't nah. think Day could keep it in. The handball virtually went over the boundary line. Oh, here's a chance to Lydia. High up and under. Vickery from behind. Couldn't quite hold the mark. So again, it comes out to the centre of the ground. Plenty of Tigers here. Lennon, uh, the Chaplin it was, who went through. Thomas got the handball. Good play by Flostone. Over the top of it. Thomas, that's going nowhere. We'll have another bounce. So the Tigers five goals up with 3.24 on the clock. We'll have a look at the live ladder at half time just to uh, see what this means for the Tigers. They desperately need the four points, but percentage is going to be very, very important for them. So... Without getting ahead of ourselves, they have to really put the boot down today. It's good to see Dixon moving a little bit freer too here. To compete. Chris Catelli was looking for the big fella. He's got a free. <laughs> Rance, Rance thought it was going his way. Well. As all defenders do. <laughs> Seems to be moving okay. Charlie Dixon there. Chaplin arguing that his jumper was being held. So the moment you got Bachelor on Lynch, now you got Hooley on Lynch. I don't know why you don't just kick it in the air too. Oh, he got oh, it! There it is, Jones. Uh, on but, cue. But even that, they kicked it to where the ruck yeah. were Nichols and Marich. This guy can mark yeah. everything in his area. To reach he had, the he had Bachelor as an opponent. Just get it to him one on one. And what Nichols, the, his teammate, the rapping has to do, get out of the road as well. As I said, it was, a, it was a long time to get the ball to the area. And guys, I think Chaplin is just looking back at Rance going, mate, any danger you could help me out there? <laughs> <laughs> so Tom Lynch. Plum in front of goal. They need to convert oh. here. And yeah. that, that wrecks everything, doesn't it, from a Gold Coast point of view. They've kicked 1-3 in this quarter. 20 out directly in front. They're trying to work their way back into the game. They've, they've actually held sway in this second term. It's just a little bit of finishing like that that kills it. Well, Richmond looking like they want to try and give them another chance. Take it over the boundary line. Yeah, well, Richmond have dominated the disposals of this quarter. 104. Gold Coast money at the 56. So... <laughs> They could have quite easily had three goals on the board this quarter, Gold Coast. So two minutes ago in this second term. Marich gets the tap. The kick from Miller to the top of the square. Being held, That's yes, it will be. Free kick, Gold Coast. Yeah, I think that was a free. Uh, that was where he imposed his body, yeah. Charlie Dixon, and he got Alex Rance off balance. 
and Rance thought, well, I'm going out of the contest. I've got to take him with me. Now, he's saying, look at the scoreboard, but <laughs> he's, the umpire saw him throw Dixon to the ground at the end of that contest. So Dixon from point blank range. Lynch missed one from dead in front a second ago. So in he comes. And kicks the goal. Second for the quarter for the Gold Coast. They deserve that goal. Gold Coast, I think they've been fairly brave this quarter. We have a look at the, the replay. Both players engaged. No, definitely a free kick. Absolutely. And, and it was the kick that drew the, the, uh, the free as well. It was a really well-weighted kick. The funny thing about it, Rance, he didn't have to do it in the end. That's how you That's yeah. how you want to see Charlie yeah. Dixon use his body and size, those spots. He's, he's so big. He's just so big, Charlie Dixon. Monster. As I said, if, he, if he gets the, the pivotal spot, very hard to get around. That's a big late goal as far as the match is concerned for Gold Coast because they've won the quarter and the margin is manageable at 23 points, particularly if they could get another late one before half time. Tigers will to respond naturally enough, but it's a free kick going to Avan Marriage. Laid it off to Dustin Martin, he's had a big second term. His 13th disposal of the game. Oh, Jack was up so early. early. <laughs> Newman stayed down and he'll need the bounce to go his way, which it clearly didn't. Vickery, though, had to give her hands to Lennon. We had to give her hands to Lennon. You just think he's thinking yeah. a big bag today, and maybe he can just Ooh. dummy, get around it. He was uh, seemed to be having a, a word or two with his teammate. Maybe Lloyd had something to say to him. No, the hands were on. Is that man again, Jason? Aaron Hall has been fantastic today. Long kick out to the wing position. Inside a minute left on this. Can they just steal one here, the Gold Coast? Nottingham dispossessed by Lloyd, who held the ball up, waiting for his skipper in Cochin. Now, on the counter-attack, Cochin. Inside 50 with the kick, and very well done getting across. Was Malczewski to punch it to the boundary line. So, 37 seconds. Let's have a look at the cruel bounce of the ball here, Newman's kick. Didn't think we have an opportunity. Oh, look, maybe he didn't have an opportunity to handball. It was really good tackling pressure from Gold Coast. But he only had one thought in his mind, Jase. <laughs> that was to go over the goal. Well, once you start goal. kicking them, you think you can get them all. Goal of Jasney. This is the go-to guy. So Lynch has it. Gives it back. Goal of Jasney again. Important kick, this one. With plenty of uh, lead-up players there. Good mark. They have time to score here if they move it quickly. They've got numbers. Boston Hall. Now they're away. Lynch on Taylor Hunt in the middle of the corridor. Why wouldn't you kick it to him again? So Matera brings it up to forward 60. Now he sets it up. Now Lynch is going to have a yeah, chance. There it is. That's a beautifully well-weighted kick. Gee, wow. This is a big kick in the scheme of things. Yeah. Well, 23 points. Lynch missed one from basically the same spot. Might have been a bit closer, in fact. But this is so important on the halftime siren. For Tom Lynch, the boy from the Sorrento Sharks, to go back and put this through and just put a little bit of nervousness into the Tigers. On a game that they should win and win well, the Gold Coast just won't go away. Huge kick. Tom Lynch comes in. He's 30 metres out directly in front. The kick is on its way and he has put it through. We've got a game at the MCG. A uh, really good finish here from Tom Lynch. You needed that after missing one about three or four minutes earlier. Three goals three in this second quarter to outscore Richmond two goals one. So, well done. Good fight back from Gold Coast Suns. It's good to see Charlie Dixon back on the ground. He's got a little bit of a limp up, but Damien Harvey going to have a few words to say to the, the Tigers. So, it looked like a really uh, going to have a good win early. And Ivan Marich is going to have a few words to say to Cameron Mooney. Well, Ivan, interesting yeah. game at the moment, isn't it? I mean, you guys seem to be dominating around the stoppages, and yet... Just can't quite put it on the board. <laughs> I love it. A little bit of a wobble. <laughs> a little bit of a head wobble here, boy. <laughs> Jeez. I reckon... Looks like a Hugo Boss model there. He does, he does. At some stage, if Tom Lynch keeps going, they'll have to roll Rance over onto him. Third quarter from the MCG. Richmond have been inside 57 more times, and their lead is 17 points, and they're sharp out of the middle here with the skipper getting them going, and nice little move from the former captain, but... Couldn't get a conclusive kick away, and May's able to repel for the Suns. Sends it into the last rays of Suns on this side of the ground. And the ball over the boundary line and out of bounds. There's Lonigan, and uh, there's Matt Thomas. As we mentioned, his first game for the season 
Former Port Adelaide player for the Tigers. Maritz takes wow. position. All came over the top. Bachelor, the setup just about complete, or it was, till Ellis okay. fell over. So in the end, he's just got to do the best he can. Oh, oh. They're all climbing high. Lidio stayed the longest. Yeah. There's someone hurt. Lambert kicks it inside 50. Meantime, Cochin can't get there first. On guard was May. And the pressure, Collar Jasney was able to avoid that. Oh, they're having a fair bit of trouble keeping their footing. And the ball over the line and out. A couple of slip overs uh, in the shade here at the MCG. So a little bit slippy underfoot. Yeah, Sard falling over there. Originally from uh, West Coburg in a quarter under 18s. Ball flicks out the back. Cochin just burrowing in, trying to get it out. Comes out to Newman off the side of the boot there. Martin, the three gun players of the Tigers combined, and the Tigers get the first on the board in the third turn. Terrific handball from Newman. Cochin kept his head over the ball. You see Rodney E. Yeah, they're, they're deflating goals. Yep. Clearances inside your forward 50, especially the start of his third quarter. You can just see the want from uh, Cochin over. He's got his head over the ball here about now. There it is. He just fights. But Newman's quick hands, reflex handball to Dustin Martin to kick a banana on the outside of the right foot. That's that's class skill. He knew what he was doing. Here is Dusty. 15 disposals for the afternoon now. He's laid three of the 10 tackles. Richmond have affected in this game and they're storming out of the middle. Bomb down from Lambert to full forward and oh. beautifully captured by Newman. Chris Newman. Ah, uh, Melcheski. Newman easy under the ball. Too Mel easy. Mel Chesky went to ground. I know he's limping, but see, I thought Newman pushed him off far too easily on that occasion. But a really good mark from Newman. He's had a bit of seconds, yeah. isn't he, Newman? Well, it does put any defence under pressure when you get a kick like that to the top of the square. Way to see off a, a challenge from the Tigers. Three minutes into the second term. Goals from Martin and Newman. Have them back out to a 29 point advantage. Now, yeah, beautiful centre clearance. Great mark from Chris Newman. Start his career as a halfback flank on winger that he's uh, been made really dangerous as a half forward. Have a look at the ruck tap from Big Avant. Great clearance. Penetrating kick. Here's Newman. Kept his eye on the ball. Just, just pushed Malcheski off beautifully. And Rodney Eads probably more disappointed with the ease of the centre clearance than the mark on that occasion. So Rodney Eads furious. He's had the boys in the rooms for 20 minutes. He's got into them. He's told them exactly what he wanted them to do. Yep. And in the meantime, the Tigers have kicked two goals in the opening. <laughs> Uh, three minutes of this third term to skip out to a 29-point lead. This time, it's the Gold Coast Suns getting the ball out through. Aaron Hall has been fantastic today. Morris for the Tigers, though, gets the handball working. Now the Tigers get moving through Miles. Ball goes out wide. Good mark by Lennon. The issue with, the, with Tom Lynch and the wrap, when Aaron Hall looked at the ball, he, he wants Lynch forward. I, I know what Rodney Eade's trying to do, but you need your best forward. Malchevsky brings it inside. Plenty of orange jumpers you can see there, but you know, hold it up a long time and ball goes high up the air. Bennell finally gets it at half back, but by this stage, the entire Richmond team is in front of him. And Bennell just chips it up the line. And uh, this is exactly what the Tigers want. Lonigan, again, another 15 metre kick, just. Conceding ground now. Saad decides to take Martin on, has a bounce, runs himself into the pocket, then kicks with the left foot, and now the Tigers get the chance to turn it over, but uh, the boundary line beats everyone. We'll have a throw in. So probably the best result for the Gold Coast from that foray into the half-forward flank position. Throw in just outside 50 for the Gold Coast. Tigers got the first two of this third quarter. At the back, Ellis. Griggs being great again today. Long kick. Oh. No talk out the back. Was just waiting. Martin knew he was going to make it. He needed something to happen, and he's going to make it happen himself. He's kicked oh. one this quarter. Gets the handball over the top. Lloyd's a good snapshot of goal and makes no mistake. 
And Lloyd gets his second. The Tigers have kicked three in the opening five minutes of the third term. Power football from Richmond. After a lacklustre second quarter, they've come out and they have been ferocious at the contest. They're winning all the hard ball, but more importantly, they're using the ball and giving the right option. Two Gold Coast sons there, spoiling each other, Cameron and Malcheski. And when you've got two up, that means there's two people down. It was two Richmond players. Really good handball there from Martin. And great finish. Well, Spud, the news down here with why Lynch is playing in the ruck. Tom Nichols hasn't come back up after half time, so he's been subbed out, guys. Jared Garlett has been subbed in. We're just trying to find out more information. Yeah, it looks like uh, Lynch is going to the ruck, Boons, and then pushing forward, and then Hall will try and run with Bigger Van, but that's a big loss for Gold Coast. Such a big flow and effect, isn't it? The disadvantage uh, of not being able to have A, your ruckman, but then not about to have Lynch as your forward. And Rance is advancing down the ground and he kept on coming, had no choice once he had the momentum up. Alice to Vickery, just holds his ground and then peers into the 50, Revolt. Doesn't really commit to a lead yet. And he decides to stay back and really protected Delidio. Tried to help him fly, but they weren't quite synchronised with their plans then, the Tigers. And May's able to take it. And now here they have Collar Jasney running. And here's Lynch at half back. Yeah, well, ideally, Rodney Ebert would love Dixon into the ruck, but as we saw in the first half, he injured that right ankle, yep. so he's, he's hobbling. He, he's half fit at the moment there, Charlie Dixon, so that's why Lynch is into the ruck, unfortunately. Maybe Sam Day will have to do a bit more rucking. There he is, kicking. That's, a, that's, a, that's an inside barrel. I think it was just touched off the off the boot there, Spud. OK, let's hope so. <laughs> more <laughs> a kick for Revolt. Oh, May did well to deny him. Now Vickery, it opens up, but Saab was already into his move. And he was shut down just as smartly, but get the wits about him. And Riscatelli finds Harbrow. He did well, Adam Saab, yeah, there. Just attacked the foot in. We've already seen a couple of shots of Rodney Ead frustrated after that last kick from Day when he had uh, options running forward. Jack Martin should have got the ball, and they would have been going inside 50. Ben all out wide. Almost took the jumper off uh, Josh Hall. On that occasion, Flostone, low ball into the 50, could go anywhere. Lynch finds himself at full forward, flicks the handball up again, misses the handball target. Ben and, and Miller trying to put the pressure on, but Thomas was able to work off that, dismissed it. And now they're smartly on the move again. Miles banks to half forward. Lennon tried to stand his ground, but Connor Jasney steadfast in his effort and got himself tripped. And wins the free at half back. It's Richmond by 35 at the MCG. So Connor Jasney. He's had a good battle today. Oh, look at that. That's gone eight metres. Sad. Let's turn it over. No, lost it in the sun there, Vlosten. Good play. Oh, Jack Martin went hard. He yeah, did. Uh, hurt. He's got some rolling the head. He went in the tough. Yeah, they tough went hard at the ball, didn't they he? Both did. Let's hope Jack Martin's OK. And Cochin's caught one in the noggin as well. He's in a, in a bit of trouble here, Jack Martin. So head oh, clash. Oh, yeah. Yes. And that could have been very dangerous. Yeah. So Great both courage. Players, yeah, eyes both for the players. ball. Just got that yeah. little nudge there on the way oh. through from Vlostone, which just had him, his body momentum going forward and his head hanging out. I've just yeah. made the sub too, so this is going to be very testing yeah. for the Gold Coast players. They've called for the stretcher here. Yep. Yeah, he's, in, he's, gonna, he's just copped it on the side of the head there. And yeah. He, he looked like there's a, a concussion issue here. Yep. Yeah. So Cochin was probably lucky that he was running in a straight line at the ball, hit the top of his head. And we'll have a look at replay in a few moments' time. But a terrible situation here for young Jack Martin. 20 years of age, and uh, he will be put on the stretcher. Let's hope everything's OK. Well, the Gold Coast Suns team is getting together now because they've been taken apart yeah. in the early part of this third term. So they get a couple of minutes here to reassess, just to, to reset themselves. They've got to grab a handle on this game very, very quickly. Otherwise, they're going to be in all sorts of trouble. Uh, Gary Ablett up on the stand. 
Yeah, very visible before the game, Jase. You were talking about uh, how he's getting around the players. Well, he has been criticised in the past, Ed, about yeah. whether uh, he's been at games and what sort of role he's taking. But he was out there amongst it. He was uh, a big part of things with his teammates, and he's been up in the box. He's been out at huddles. See the big brace on the left leg, but good to see him here. Love to be out there, of course. Do you, what do we think about them next year? Oh, I could see them easily coming. Well, I know we had higher expectations yeah, yeah. this year, but you'd love to be coaching yeah. next year. Right. And, the, and the other thing is, they're going to get a favourable draw. You finish in the bottom six, and you're, you're in that bracket. You're going to get a very favourable draw. If they hit the ground running with a full list, look out. Uh, just look at the live ladder now. Uh, Richmond, with uh, the three goals in this third term, have now jumped above North Melbourne on percentage, as you can see there. And Bulldogs with a game in hand, but uh, need to win. And, you know, we're making the point now, need to win and win well. Gold Coast came into this game undermanned in the midfield. Now they've lost another player, lost two players so far. They're a player down on the bench. Joseph they've made their sub already. Yep. It's going to be so, tough, but just look at that ladder, Ed. You just think that round 23 Friday night game, Richmond-North Melbourne, it's yep. going to have uh, some sort of impact on the way the teams face off in week one of the finals, well, isn't it? They could play each other two Twice weeks in a row. row. Correct. The fact that they've got two players off the bench and Charlie Dixon is on, is on one leg as well on, on Rand. So There's the Tigers run home, Spud, and yeah. uh, we won't ask Ed, but they'll start certainly start favouring the next couple. Oh, Hutto, don't go yeah. there. Careful, Hutto. And again, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that round 23 game we talk about, it is, uh, it's, there's some huge games still to come. Well, I know who I'll be tipping next week. Mm. That'll be right. Don't worry about that. Well, if they can't, if you can't be there, you want to at least help yeah. shape the AD. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Jase. That's as big a backhander on the way through <laughs> as you could ever get. <laughs> Damning by faint <laughs> praise, I think that's known as. <laughs> I'll cop my whack. <laughs> and, uh, well. Just a horrible situation when you see the uh, the, the streets are coming out like this, and uh, and this is an unfortunate accident that happens in their game sometimes. Two players going for the ball, and young Martin just a little bit sideways, just got a little bit edge out in the play, and as Cochin came through, hit him with the, the top of his head. He's talking to the doctor there, Ed, which is yeah. great news. Yeah, so. Let's hope yeah. it's nothing too yeah. serious. I guess a, a mild concussion is the best result we can hope for. He's had a lot of injuries since he's come into the game, too. Yeah. Very lightly framed, isn't he, Jack Martin? But he's a, he's a huge talent. He's one that they'll just want to get a full pre-season into ahead of next year. So let's hope he is OK today. And the crowd... As always. Yep. Mm. Getting, uh, getting behind him and trying to encourage him. There was a lot of respect. It doesn't matter who you barrack for. When you see what the players put themselves through and how committed they are to the contest, the they will all respect those sorts of efforts. But Josh Hall's got his hands full hit there on the ruck, hasn't he? he been against Big Havar. So it's a game-high 35 points for the Tigers at the moment. And uh, without driving the point to home too much, now is the opportunity for them to really set themselves up for the run home to the finals. Get some big percentage and four points here. Van Marich in game 150 in hard at it. Cochin showing no ill effects from that head clash. High up and under. They've got the numbers. In fact, the boundary umpire will give them the ball and the Tigers will relieve from half back through Bashahuli. You talk about Josh Hall, Spud, and the option he gets now. He's just got to compete yeah. hard in the ruck against Marich, but then you get an opportunity to get yeah. involved around the ground. So, just treads water. Pressing pause for a moment there, Alex Rance, until something materialised, and that something was Newman, who looks up with Alice. A left-handed bounce, and then a right-foot kick for Revolt or Vickery. Take well, the pick. Right. And they maybe even got in each other's way a fraction. But uh, he came away, as uh, Spud said, Day got the fist to it. Yeah, he just got his uh, fist on that same day. It was going to be a certain mark to either Rewalt or Vickery on that occasion. It's 20 possessions for Aaron Hall. Kicks back to full back. And Cameron. And the five out of side. Play he's on oh, he's handballed to Russell. That's not as bad as it, the first thought. He had just enough time to dispose of it. And had Garland in his sights. He was the sub. He's a, another talented young man. He's had some injuries to deal with this year, but trying to get some, some footy going into the end of the season, into the preseason. Shaw comes Great away. Kick. Searching for Lynch. He's marked it. Dixon is back at full forward. He has to go for him. He's got space in front. He did have. Well, Flostone filled it. And then Rance just about did the rest. Thomas, as the pressure was passed from player to player. Flostone. And they can't put enough pressure on. 
couldn't couldn't lock it away the Gold Coast Suns and now getting adventurous ran through the middle with three bounces if you don't mind and then a further handball to Miles who sized it up goes for Koch and can he leap he can he just couldn't mark it Colin Jasny and May do a double team on him and force the ball up and now Revolt's getting uh, animated down there. Well, I'm not sure what Jack's well, he's, he's bothered about because this is a good option. He, he's disappointed he didn't get on it on the lead. Yeah, I'm with you, Jace. He was out by about three or four metres. Should have been hit up for the easy easy option. Miles bypassed to Lydia. Eventually he gets it from Greg. Screws it back to the square. May worried. Now more worried. It's through for his second. Well, another clearance goal inside the forward 50. The Lydia. He's got a great record, hasn't he? He's a super player. Plays forward, back. Good hit there from Jack Rewalt. Hands out the back. Just sharing their own ball. And he's just likely to brick the lead out. Great finish. Really good, smart play from Jack Rewalt. Keeping the ball out into space. That's what you want is your half forwards. So Delidio kicks his second of the game. That's four in a row now this term to the Tigers. And they're out to a game-high 41-point lead. And really starting to build now. Been quite methodical of the Tigers. Hasn't been anything that flashy about their play. They're just doing it everything right now. They're getting the centre clearances. As big Ty Vickery kicks that all of 55 metres. Now a chance for Jack, but the ball's cleared out of the defensive zone. Coming straight back, though, Morris. Just finding his home back on that halfback flank today. Hooley's little chip over the top. His kicking has been good. That one wasn't so great. Good tackle, though. Great tackle. Hunt gets the free kick. Yeah. yeah. The Richmond Parker love that one. Just snuck up on Boston there. So Hunt, who's a beautiful kick of the ball, he comes got, in. He's got ignored again, Rebot. He puts it right oh, across the bar. Bar. That's what you want if you're the big yeah. ruckman or the big forward. You want it right there, don't you, uh, Jace? It's a good leap and mark. Good set of hands. And he has proven capable of kicking the odd goal of Arn Marich. And if they're going to go deep in September, they need him to push forward and be an attacking threat. So Big Arn has kicked 57 goals, 30. In game number 150. What a magnificent player he's been for this team, the Tigers. He comes in, deserves the goal, and he gets it. And the Tiger fans give him the acclamation he deserves. Great mark, great finish. And as you said, uh, there's nothing better when you see your Rapman push forward and have an impact. And that's what he's been able to do this year. I've liked the way he's been able to push forward. You can see him pushing off here, Sam Day. Now, you see Ivan trying to open up the space. Sam Day just spectates on that occasion, but really good, strong, contested mark from Ivan. Kept his eyes right on the ball into his hands and, more importantly, sealed the deal with the goal. Five unanswered goals in the term now. The other thing we shouldn't underestimate, Hutto, is how accurate the Tigers yes. have been today. 13-2 yeah. is an exceptional return. Yeah, stunning stuff from Richmond in front of the sticks. Vickery. Gets it down. Koch and the little handball was small but big in terms of what it gained them. As Grigg takes them inside 50, Lennon fed it back to Grigg. He got enough room to hook that left foot back. And it was online for a while, but he's uh, just kind of a copy of it. A bit there for the Tigers. 13-3 now. To 5-3. The margin is 48 as Stephen May brings it back into play for the Suns. Goes for Day, but it uh, went over the back. There's Cochin again as they build. Hooley for Martin. Just poked it to full forward. He's got a full run at this one, Jack. Can't complain, but oh, May's beat him. Oh, he oh, didn't oh, pay, he pay in the end. But it was great use of the body from May. Looked like Rewalt was going to ease him under the ball. It was just that at last minute, Stephen May pushed back hard. He's asking the umpire. Well, he's yeah. having a chat there, the umpire, One, saying, is that not enough? Two, three... Four. No, oh. Didn't quite control it. She's turned into a fantastic key defender, though, hasn't he? He's had an exceptional last six weeks. Oh, Lloyd fought through two and deserved a goal after all that effort. And that's exactly what he got. He's third. That's deflating. That's taking nothing away from Lloyd. Really good sharking. Great goal again. There's been three goals from four line clearances mm. in this quarter. 
And again, they just hit the ball to space. Missed tackle there from Russell, but he can't take it away from Lloyd. That was a beautiful goal. Just strong over the ball, kept his eyes on the ball, shrugged the tackle off. Matt Shaw tried to trip him up, but he was just too good on that occasion. So Sam Lloyd, he wants to stay in this Tiger team for some September action. He kicks his third goal. He's kicked three goals, one. Great strength, great poise, knew where the goals were. And the Tigers have now started to put the boot down. Six goals this term in 20 minutes. Yeah, for 12 entries, going at 50% yep. goal scoring efficiency. I think the league average is about 24. Eh? Thomas caught one high, and he'll get the free kick. So it's 12 3, the inside 50s for this term. Six goals, one to no score. No one's picked up Vickery yet. He's all on his own. Players loose everywhere. Here's Lloyd again. He's lurking, wanting his fourth goal. Ball goes over the line out of bounds. He's been sub more often than not in recent yeah. weeks. Lloyd, so he gets the opportunity to play a full game today. And as you said, Ed, with three goals under his belt, it'll be hard to leave him out. Yeah, might want to come off the ground, that's for sure. So, Cochin doing a lot of pointing here. Let's see who hits the front of the pack. Tip, uh, tap to the side. Thomas does well. Cochin lurking. No, umpire said he threw it in the end. And uh, good tackle. Good tackle by Riscatelli. The Gold Coast get the free kick in the back pocket. Michael Riscatelli. Had his, probably his best season at the Suns, maybe since his first year. After, of course, such a long distance career at Brisbane. One umpire called play on. Front on contact there. <laughs> just well, he was never in doubt. Martin knew that too. He knew he was going to mark the ball, so he made him earn it. Harbrow's off. Back into the middle for Lynch, who was completely oblivious to the fact that Lloyd was ready to crunch him. May, and now Lonigan, oh, trying to maintain some possession for the Suns. Kick back to the wingers, okay, sure. He had Garlic just he could have flicked the ball to, decides to use the foot instead. It was good effort by Ellis to try and get hands to it, but likewise, Matera stood his ground. Dixon deep at full forward, but the kick was designed in the pocket for Boston. Who's taken the mark? Pretty quiet day for Andrew Boston. Just the two disposals. Hasn't hit the scoreboard. Maybe that's about to change. Just the second journey to the MCG for the Suns this year. They had a big win in round one against the D's. In fact, a, a, a loss in round one against the D's. That's it there, a season off on a, on a bad, uh, a really bad train. And uh, there's oh, a great oh, effort oh, from Lynch on the line. Clever. Well arrived. And that's his third goal. Well, unusual goal. Damien Harwick uh, looking a bit nonplussed on that occasion because even though he played most of his career in defence, you've just got to put that 12 rows back. And I think a bigger van intent was there, but just didn't get enough purchase on it. He tried to smash the ball through and... All Lynch did was rove it, so you can see Ivan is intent, but it just great didn't angle. quite. Yeah, that's a great shot. Good goal. So big Tom Lynch stuck the big mitt out, saved it on the line, kicked an open goal. The first for the quarter, in fact, the last goal was kicked by Lynch at the 27 minute mark of the second term. We're now played 23 and a half into the third term. Yeah, and after kicking the goal, he's now gone down to the last line of defence, so he's back in the goal square as a loose defender, Tom Lynch. So Revolt comes out, takes the mark. Not much on. Lynch is back there. That's why he's not kicking long. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. Beautiful. He gets the short, and Delidio was the man. Well, this wax all day, Ed. Revolt and Delidio outside inside that forward 50. They've got a great connection, those two guys. And Melcheski should have been guarding the dangerous space. And when you give Delidio a free access to the ball inside the forward 50 is a very hard matchup because he's got a good set of wheels. So Delidio's kicked two goals. From 45 metres out, not much of an angle. And he's just pushed it to the left-hand side. So two goals, one to Brett Delidio. Margin out to 49 points. Kick in to Melcheski. And then back to the wing to Lonigan. Just 
didn't have any troops further afield, so he decides mm. to bring it in. That was laced with danger. In fact, it was worse yeah. than that. Straight on the chest of the Richmond skipper. Oh, he was a demerit. He wasn't quite sure what to do with it next, but it wasn't a bad effort, and he floated it for Bachelor. It's all a bit scrappy. Miles trying to wheel his way through, which he does effectively. His 18th disposal, and now they're moving through Morris. Didn't really look too convincing there. The Tigers, and oh, that's got to be a Freddie Dixon. Without the ball advantage, let's see what they can do. Can they utilise it? Away for Hall. He flipped it back in. It was trying to be a bit too fancy, really. Morris drives it. Big leap from Cameron. Timing was pretty good. Harbrow darting every which way. Needs to be a good kick. Does. Colin Jasny challenged by Delidio. Up for the challenge. Shaw. Bit of a forgettable passage of play, this one, for both teams. But sitting pretty Delidio. Uh, Cochin, uh, back to the square. Oh, rebound. It all fell for him. There's Delidio. And Shaw was a deliberate... You can't ping him there. Yeah. That's travelled straight up the line. And then only just trickled out. So throw in. Tigers got out to 54 point lead at the 20 minute mark of this term. Back to 49 at the moment. It's a big 10 goal plus win on the cards here for the Tigers. Five minutes in this turn. They want to get a few more. They kicked uh, three in the first five minutes of this third quarter. They'd love to get a couple here. Cash in in the shadows of the three-quarter time siren. Marich gets the tap. Hits it to the right spot. Lennon tries to crash through. Been great all day, May. And they find the boundary line for another throw in. Well, this is danger signs for Gold Coast. As you said, the, the Tigers already kicked three goals this quarter from clearances inside their forward 50. So... You can see Newman just lurking at the back there. And that's where the tap went. Revolt went through. May again. He's been fantastic. Cotchen wraps him up. We'll have another ball up. No, he's been terrific, Ed, on Jack Rewalt. They've had 43 inside 50s, the Tigers. Rewalt only kicked the one goal. So, good performance from May again. Shore over the top of the ball. Working hard. Another bounce. Thanks, guys. So it hasn't been one for the archives <laughs> this last five minutes or so. But good pressure. We give the Gold Coast a, a pat on the back here. They're not lying Play down. On. They're having a real go. Marich tries to crash through. Lonigan's kick high up and under. Hooley has been fantastic today. Takes the mark. So Basha Hooley looks up. His players out wide. Decides to go to Thomas. Thomas can go short as well. Decides to twist and turn. Gone. And he is gone. That's throwing the, the ball. ball. So Dixon gets the free kick. Matera brings the ball out to the wing position. And no one up at full forward. Now a chance. As Boston slams it on the boot. Lucky bounce is what's required here for Matera. Punched away by Hooley. Still tracking the ball close to the pocket. Matera on him. But plenty of Tigers. Flossen came back. Gave the support. They open it up. And away go the Tigers. He's lacked a bit of yeah. composure a couple of times going forward. The Suns. A couple of odd kicks there when they needed to run, carry, hold the ball, give teammates an opportunity, a bit of time to run into space. Well, Hooley gave Saad a bit of a look. He's happy to take that and try and shake off Alice, which he does. That has to go back. Find some reinforcements. Colin Jasny in that left boot for Aaron Hall, who's had a much quieter third term. He fights well here to win his 21st possession. Takes a while to actually release it. Almost went too far. And not the best direction. Dixon comes late to make a contest. Garland shows his silky skills and well, kicks a fantastic goal. That was a terrific goal from Jared Garland. Really good contest there from Charlie Dixon. I think he hurt himself after that marking contest too, Dixon. But that's what you want. You get a strong contest to the top of the square. You just see here Dixon watching the flight of the ball and really does well to bring the ball to ground. Great second effort here from Jared Garlett and screwed it over his right shoulder for a much needed goal. Dixon's uh, hobbling on one leg after that marking contest. So the Gold Coast kicked the last two goals of this term through Lynch and Garlett snap. Garlett coming on as the sub today. His third goal in league football in game number six. Always exciting getting those majors on the scoreboard when you're a young player. So well done to Jared Garlett. 
19 years of age. Just wrenched that out, Cochin. Strength. Game 150 for Cochin to revolt. The big names coming together. Kick was to the right spot. Shaw did well. Did really well, Shaw. To me a massage you'd like, but Yeah. Look, there's nothing in it. It was just a, a free kick, that's all. But uh, made him earn it. Tired victory. <laughs> with a thick ear. <laughs> Straight out of the fullback's uh, handbook, that one, was it? Oh. Uh, Denny. If you're going to mark it, I couldn't get near Jace's head, unfortunately. Well, it's too quick. As you say, if they're going to mark it, there's just a little yeah. forearm across yep. the side of the head. He certainly felt that. You'll know next time. <laughs> That's how you try to discourage those. Is that what he used to say to you, players? Jace, every yeah. time? You'll know next time not to go <laughs> <Yeah>. for it. <laughs> Tony Lockett was quite effective at letting them know, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> As the ball goes inside 50 years, Sagalit again in the right position. Boston fought hard. Great play oh, by well Dixon. Done, Dixon. What's up by Pick on that for in danger? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gee. He's, uh, he's in a world of hurt, Dixon. He knows he, he has to stay out there because of the, the two injuries to Martin and Nichols. Well, look at him. He's, yeah, he's on one leg. And he's a sore boy tonight. And he's doing well to stay out there at the moment. Stone heads to the wing to Lennon. Two metres back. Two metres back. Hold. Back one, but play on. Play on. Bachelor. Me, me, me. From Hooley, you can hear the slight disgruntlement of the Tiger fans about the way they're moving the ball, but it has become their way. Martin. Forwards hold their ground, so they're too far away for him to kick to. And sometimes that's by design, Hutto. They yep. want the midfield and the other players for the field to carry the ball before they unload it inside. Now they come, Revol did everything but take the mark. In the end, he had to handball off to Hooley. Neat little side step, and he had Grigg in mind, but then it was on. Takes the intercept mark, and now can try and get the Suns going. I'm pretty quiet, Bennell. Disposal number 13 for the day. A good battle with Brandon Ellis yeah. for a lot of the day. Yeah, he's kept Ellis to, to 17, which is manageable, so... Oh, good work from Matera there. Yeah, it was great work, wasn't it? He was one out, he had no help. So held the ball up, got it, twisted and turned, got back in, and then found a teammate. Now, this is dangerous here, and it's going to come unstuck. Vickery, handball out wide. Lennon can line up from 51 metres. The long bomb is just offline. It was a brave kick, really. He's, he had his captain on in the pocket. Fine line between brave and stupid, Hutto, yeah. in yeah. this game when you're switching the ball. He might have it's, just stepped over that line, I think, then, too. <laughs> it's brave if you hit the target, stupid if you miss it. Next time. But sometimes you need those risk-reward kicks. That's what, that's what opens up the field further ahead. Arbrow scuttling out of defence. A hand, not the best of handballs from Melcheski. They've come from all angles. He got a bit of a shove. Hooley's finding the ball everywhere at the moment. A little bit dancing around. Kick into the 50 is well seen by that man May, who's got Hall on at half back. Ball sits for him well, and he can be creative That's through the kick. middle. Bennell takes it now. Where to? He'll want to hand it off. He did risk a tally. Four to the center, as you can see, tracking a path through Harbrow. Got some suns on out wide. Matera had to wait, but he can still get a good look at it inside 50. Bennell kept on going, but so did Chaplin. And the siren saves the day for Harley Bennell. At the end of a quarter where Richmond dominated, they kicked six goals. The Suns getting a couple of late ones, which just improved the scoreline. The margin at the MCG is 44 points. The most of this last 30 minutes. They're going to really drive over the top of the Suns here. And that percentage is very important. Final quarter for the MCG. Sunday afternoon footy. It's Richmond 14-5, the Gold Coast 7-3. Decent bounce. It did favour marriage somewhat. He got the tap down. Taken by Lloyd. Cochin manhandled. Play on was the call. He'll go back and try and win it again, Trent Cochin. Neither he nor Hall got a clean possession. Hall is able to just work it inside and courage needed and provided. And some pain for Kane Lambert. He's had a very good game. No, he has. He's had nine contested ball, five clearances, lining up for goal number two. And Sarge Corky, too. Sarge was sitting a long way off him. He was trying to fill the hole in between front of the key forwards. With a quick kick just fortuitously went in Lambert's direction. Good if courage from both players. If ever you want to fight through, it's when you've got a shot for goal, but he's, he's genuinely struggling. 
few queuing up to take the kick. Yeah, Dust, uh, Delidio <laughs> just went past, past the handball. I think Morris was moving as well. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, Kane Lambert, as we said, has had a terrific day. Kicked a goal already. His 23rd disposal swinging back and salutes for Richmond. Another clear centre clearance for the Richmond Football Club. We've got 38 clearances to, to 24, 15 out of the centre. So a really good ruck tap there. Quick hands, as you said, quick kick forward, good tackling pressure there from Martin. And as you said, it's, uh, it was fortuitous how it ended up in the hands, but Hurley gets the ball forward. Really good strong mark there. Yes, that great elixir of life, a goal. Yeah, he's had a he's had a terrific game, Lambert. So Lambert kicks his second. Also fighting to stay in this finals bound Richmond side. Well, his performance today, Ed, he'll, yeah. uh, he'll take some dropping because he's one of the better players on the ground. This bloke's played well all day, Aaron Hall. We've loved his work. So Hall. Kicks forward. Oh, well done. Good spoil. Yeah, well done. Now, that's really unlucky right. that he's been pinked from the back because yeah. he worked hard to get the fist on the ball and it was the aftermath. It was the follow-through from diving to punch the ball that saw him go into the back of Morris. And really yeah, gritting his teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Jace, he's he's, fight, he's fighting him. hard. I've liked his efforts since yeah. he hurt his ankle. And Jace Morris just found out what it was like to have 110 <laughs> kilos run across your head. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's handed a few out in his day. Stevie Morris, he doesn't mind crunching the opponents. Marich goes up the line. Delidio. And that one wasn't one of uh, Brett's best. And over the line it goes. So throw in 18 minutes. Let's have a look at Charlie Dixon here. The desperation to punch the ball, and he does punch it. Yeah. And then stop. he's a yeah. little bit shaken up, Stephen <laughs> Morris. He chewed grass there. Hurry kick forward. Lonigan takes him to half forward. Reduce the body. Dixon. He's gobbled up. Basher there. Pike. And he limps back to his position, Dixon. It was a really courageous effort. Just ruck practice for Big Ivan at the moment. And tackle practice. There it is. Look, Josh Hall is more suited to playing. Probably on your third tall forward. Have a look at the weight difference there with Big Ivan and Josh Hall. Greg down to Delidio to Cochin, and that frees up Greg. Back again, Vickery. Oh, he didn't fly in the end, and it was a good mark. By Day. Sam Day with a switch on. Shaw wanted to give by hand. Eventually, Melchieski ran to the right spot, and that's a sweetly struck kick to half forward. Boston turns around, pokes the kick. Lynch is looming large. They just haven't had yeah. enough opportunities yeah. to kick it to this bloke where he's got a chance to run and mark the ball. He's been a winner all day, or looked like a winner all day, Tom Lynch. His Go work off the ball then was just great forward craft, it was. See, Chapman's looking for the body, and he just took a step to the right there, Lynch. Maintain access at the ball. Fourth goal of the day. Tommy Lynch. Kick five, four, four in his last three games, and it was going to be another four, but it hits the post. Well, he's missed two easy ones today, Tom Lynch. It's uh, the only blot in his copy book. He would have easily had five, as you said there. Anthony. So goals in the first, second, and third quarters, and two set shots from 30 odd metres. Missing that one hitting the post. Here we go again. So the Gold Coast get it out. Bennell flicks it over the top. Matera looks out wide. So they've gone from wing to wing. Shaw with a kick inside 50, and up they go. Almost the mark. Not quite taken here by Garlett. Good play again by Lambert. Martin just measures the left foot kick and Cochin accepts it. So the Richmond captain. Ellis. Another little chip kick to Hooley, who's knocked up getting kicks today. Guys, Camden McIntosh just taking the vest off. Just got off the phone just with some last minute instructions. Just coming on now. Okay, so Kevin Iron. Who's off, uh, by the way? Miles, Ken? I think it is. It's like Miles is having the rest, guys. Okay. So Ellis. Game and a stalemate here at the moment. Yeah. Tigers leading by 49 points. 
Ian McIntosh will be keen to get into it. So well, Martin's they've, got they've, here he is. they've got to be looking to put the foot down the tires. Yeah. It's practicing at the moment, aren't they? Not a lot of run from behind. There's no, not much run forward of the ball either. Go on, Hutto, you see if you can get him going. Down to Marich. Hall to try and spoil. It was a good spoil too. Delidio got that the arms free. Lloyd crashed into the turf on the MCG in the back, says the umpire. Quick hands off to Martin, to Ellis. And this be something created here. High ball. And well weighted for Lennon. He'll be eyeing off Ty Vickery deep. Now he tried to draw him to the ball, but Thomas was also in on the act. And Matt Thomas can line up. It was like a dart, wasn't it, from Lennon? One of those pesky midfielders that just yeah. drops in front of the leading forward and <laughs> cuts his lunch. Yeah, Ty, yeah. He his eyes were lit up, weren't yeah. they? Just 34 goals in his 101 game career, Matt Thomas. Had to be patient through the VFL for an opportunity. And it's the right time of the year to come into the team. He's had a serviceable game, 16 disposals, 10 of those contested. That's the thing you like about him. He's done the four kicks and 12 handballs, but he's gone at 100%. He's had three centre clearances as well, so just another player that Damien Hardwick is throwing through the midfield. Not afraid to, to put all his on balls through there. Percentage growing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the percentage is growing. Started the day at 108.9, nearly up uh, 4%, just under 4%, and just edging ahead of Sydney now. So uh, Sydney have obviously got a game in uh, hand there, or a game advantage. But uh, the Tigers, this next 14 minutes, very important for them. And the Gold Coast free kick out of the centre. It's been the real positive for Gold Coast, Aaron Hall's form. So inside 50, they go. Chaplin's had a good battle down there. Lynch has been fantastic. Over the line, out of bounds, throw in. We'll just give you an indication, Ed, of how dominant Lynch has been. They've taken six marks inside their forward 50 goal coast, and Lynch has taken five of them. They've kicked three goals, two. One hit in the post, one missed from 30 metres out, so an easy five was there for him. And he'd love desperately to get a couple in this last quarter. Playing his 77th game of footy today, Tom Lynch. Kicked 118 goals now in his career. In the back, free yeah. kick, Cochin. Lynch was just a little bit overcommitted. So Cochin runs himself into trouble, kicks it off the side of the boot. Might get a lucky bounce here. They do. Good play. Newman not only got the lucky bounce, but made it lucky by using his body and strength. Hunt comes backwards to Rance. Rance kicks up the line, but there's no one there. Waving his hand was Ellis, but... It would have had to have been Bernie Quinlan to kick it that far, do we? Bennell over the top. Hall inside again. Good play. Hall gets the uh, give and go. Nice little jab kick with the outside of his boot. Just missed his target. Dixon was good. Got it down. Here's a flying shot at the goal by Boston, but he's missed. So some opportunities just going begging for the Gold Coast here. They've uh, fought on quite valiantly, considering where they came in with uh, basically devastating their midfield and then injuries through the course of the game. Day gets the kick into the 50. Again, a fraction too strong. Boston's had a few chances, hasn't been able to capitalise, but this time he is able to. Really good finish there from Boston. He looked for the hands, and that, that's what I liked about it. He, he had a look around to see if there was a, a better option. You see the, the miss mark there from the Tigers. And you just see here, Boston goes over the top of Bernal. So he gets the ball, looks for the hands, wasn't on, because Greg was all over him, and then he kicked truly. So really good mark there from Andrew Boston. Boston has a spell, having kicked his goal. Ball up back in the middle of the ground. So the Tigers have considered uh, one here. They kick the first two, and it's again the Gold Coast full of run. Bennell gets the ball out. College has his kick. 
Well done, Dixon. And Dixon, look at that. Yeah. Just horribly hampered by that ankle injury. He gives it all. The adrenaline kicks in. And then when he marks the ball... <laughs> Well, one of the one of the, uh, one of the biggest pressures you'll be putting on it is when you decelerate, when you've got a brace with all your weight going through it to try and stop or slow yourself down or change direction. So two marks and a goal that has been restricted with that ankle injury for most of the game. Tries to nurse it to the top of the square. Good kick to it was, but uh, punched away there by Bigavan for a rush behind. Uh, it's a lot better spoil from Bigavan. We saw in the third quarter he tried to put it through and, and Lynch scored a goal. I don't think the goal umpire had uh, signaled, signaled to the uh, centre umpire about the behind before he played on there. Lost stone. There's another player in the uh, in the square. Can you are you allowed to kick it in while there's two players in the goal square? I don't think so. So here's McIntosh coming on as the sub in the back pocket. Challenging kick for Lloyd, but he made it look easy. Comfortably comes away, kicks to the wing. Lennon, he snaffles that one okay. Swings the kick to half forward. Newman backing back, takes the mark. He had Alice, or oh, look at Alice is the one. Yep. He's right in the right. goal square, yeah, and the footy arrives now. He's had a good day, hasn't he, Chris Newman? No, uh, he has, and he's a super, super kick. He's always been a magnificent left foot kick, Chris Newman, but... More importantly, he's, he's look, his first look when he marked the ball was there someone in a better option, in a better position, and he saw Ellis out of the corner of his eye and just kicked way to the ball perfectly for Ellis to run onto it. He can pop this through for his first goal, the Tigers 17th, and the margin beyond 50 once more. He's been a beauty, Chris Newman, former skipper of the club. Let's have a look at... Uh, Commentator Cam here, you can see Alice. Eyes lighting up, but it was the kick from Newman. It's gone 55 to the top of the square. Nothing the Gold Coast Suns defence could do on that occasion. And Alice, another one of the strong running midfielders for the Tigers, will be looking for bigger and better things in three weeks' time. Again, he's had a super year, Ellis. So it's one of those awkward times in a match, Jason, isn't it? The Tigers players have, have done enough. They don't want to get injured at this stage of the game. But uh, plenty of opportunity to really put the Gold Coast away and get some easy goals at the end here. Desperately need the percentage. But uh, Gold Coast run the ball out again. This time it's through Garland, who's the sub today. Boston's kick is a good one. Mm. Uh, couldn't Dixon get there, just couldn't get there. Yeah, good call, uh, Denny. So Ellis with a handball. Newman looks up, just chip over the top. He's uh, waxing well with this man, Ellis. Ellis further afield to his captain in Cochin. Quickly on the boot, just a high up and under. Try and mark that one. Delidio's there, but uh, getting back and taking the mark is Collegeston. Look at this pleasure from Brett Delidio, the service that was provided, but now Matera. On the skates, buzzing around half back is Harbrow. Running along that southern wing, the former Bulldog. Well, let's fly to the 50. And outnumbered there, Lynch, and good support provided by Rance. It was well done on that occasion from Chaplin. Just eased Lynch under the ball, knowing that he had support behind in Rance. Hooley. He's been prolific, particularly since half time. Tough one for Alice. They both went to ground, he and Day, the recovery. It was first by Alice and the handball okay. Taken over the line by Kane Lambert. Now the Tigers run to September. We touched on early Collingwood, Essendon, and then North Melbourne, which should be a, a belter in round 23. And yeah, they're all important games for the Tigers as you're posturing inside that top eight, but that round 23 one might just decide exactly what happens as far as the makeup of those sort of fifth, sixth, seventh positions are concerned. Tiger's a bit of overuse. Might have got a bit, bit giddy. Yeah, oh, Lynch's kick. Field. Yeah, Lynch is going to be lining up for goal number four here. Was that late? That's the umpire thought so. Guys, that happened 20 metres in front of me. That was beautiful work for Morris. Just great pressure. Back on. Oh, that's not late. Yeah, good call, Moons. Nothing untoward. Uh, that's... Uh, and he's kicked, yeah, kicked the ball. 
He just dragged him down a fraction after, but it was totally incidental, really, wasn't it? To the needs to take advantage of it, Lynch. And yeah, we saw him. Mr. Couple along the journey. He's leaned back a little bit and too much. So it's yes. three three. Could easily have been a bag of six, really, yeah, couldn't it? Yeah, they're all kickable. Yeah. Three behinds, definitely. Yeah, all from 30 metres, yeah. basically, weren't they? One hit the post. Just nursing it through there, Jase. Uh, what was your style that close in, 30 metres out directly in front? Did you like to belt them through? I'll, I'll get your answer in a moment. As Martin kicks it in to the full forward position, Lennon was there. Victory over the top. Coming through is Jack. Off the ground. Gets the goal. And an 11-point turnaround against the Gold Coast from the miss to the goal at the other end. Well, I know he's not happy, and that's Stephen May. Has he helped impact the contest? He's looking around for his teammates. Is there any danger? I've kept Jack Brewald to one. You can see Stephen May here impact the contest twice, and then Rewald's just come out of the, the left of screen. Jase, how, how do you like to line up? Oh, you, I found you always wanted to kick it consistently, Ed, so you're kicking through the ball all the time. Yeah. Unless you're finessing one from an angle, you, you, you basically want to be kicking the same kick all the time. But what happens is when you're down on confidence, like Lynch is today, and you've missed a couple of easy ones, you start to poke at them. You start to steer the ball a bit. I like to finesse, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> what, somebody's here. <laughs> yeah. Greg takes him to half forward. Thomas sets Lennon on a path to goal. Oh, Martin. Right. Takes the mark on the line. He's going to try and play on it. And he's looking to play on it. Umpire's called time on that. Shouldn't have any problems. No, he didn't go around where the umpire said he had to You can see his, what his intention was. Well, he's had a side hunt. He's had a practice run. That's the dry run, and he should be able to do it pretty comfortably second time around. Come with me. Ball's over there, Tora. Someone find the footy, please. Watch him. Dustin, that's your if you go back on that, okay? Okay, let's do it again. Same result. That's his second goal. And the Tigers, for the first time, out beyond 10 goals. Their advantage now 64 points. Yeah, 11 different goal scorers for the Tigers. And I know you touched on it earlier, James. 19 goals, five. That is magnificent goal shooting and great view here behind the goals on the goal line with Martin. And it was never in doubt. It was just a matter of uh, how, accu how accurate it was through the middle. Another good game from Martin. 26 disposals. He's had a really consistent year, Dustin Martin. Two goals, six marks. Nine contested possessions, six clearances, and six tackles. Three more than any other player on the Richmond list. So, great defensive work also. So, great play again there by May. He's been fantastic off the half-back line all day. Hunt, Chaplin, Rance, Hooley. Seven and a half minutes left. Tigers can bang on a few more here. Hooley goes long and wide, and Lennon just waits for the bounce and takes it to the boundary line for a throw-in. So, 64 points, as Hutto said, the first time they've gone past the 10-goal barrier. 38,500 in today, 38,508. The official attendance at the MCG, pretty good turnout. Off hands, here they go, the Tigers now. Jack, he was good with the soccer at the goal, he decided to have yeah, another okay. go there, bang on, and Jack Revolt starting to get into the action now. Unselfish. No, it's a really good pass. place from Revolt, yeah, good pass to lead eight. And he's such a dangerous player now, Jack. He's the consummate team player in this Richmond outfit. And Brett Delidio, back from the flu, has kicked two goals, one today. Beautiful kick of the football. And now they can really go to the bank on this one. Delidio comes in, splits the middle. Classy player, good goal. Good team goal for the Tigers. That was a great goal. That's his 20th goal for the year, Ed. Martin's kicked the 18, so the midfielders... They're hard to come by midfielders that can push forward and kick goals. Great play here from Rewald. Have a look at that. He just kicks it and then runs onto space. 
And then, unselfishly, you could have blamed him because he's had a pretty quiet day. He's kicked the two, but May's been all over. He'd be looking board, found someone better, and the lead -o. He is uh, a super player. He's a star, superstar, Delido. Have a look at the the graph here with Delido. When he when he doesn't play, Delido, Richmond lose, I think, around 75% of their goals. Game, sorry. Come back to that if you can. The margin now 70 points. There it is yeah. in the last couple yeah. of years. And Lydia's there. It's uh, 21 wins, 10 losses when he's not. It's very, very difficult. And let's see the Tigers can add some more. We know they can't afford to just rely on their stars in September. Lloyd, what a little manoeuvre to get it back on his terms. Bangs it up to full forward again. Jackson in the frame. Oh, May great. does well, gets it down to ground. And over the line and out of bounds. He's had a big game, Lloyd. Oh, it certainly has. And as Ed said, he needs to make every post a winner to make sure that he's in the team come September. Ten contested possessions and three goals. Melcheski feeds it out. Crowd wanting a whistle. They want more Tiger goals. He's tried to bite off too much there, Stephen, mate. The Richmond players can all sense that it is a bit of a chance to line up right now. Fill the boots. High one to full forward. The boots of Jack Revolt tried to leap off the ground. Well done, Vickery, but also they've had a fair bit to contend with the uh, Gold Coast defence. And Stephen May and Colin Jasny have uh, done a pretty good job under the circumstances. No, oh, they have. And as you said, when they get their full complement back next year, they've got great bookends, haven't they? May and Lynch. And of course, Thompson much needed back in that defensive half. Stays in. Alice. Aaron Hall stalking across half back. Doesn't normally get run down, but yeah. a step or two too far that time. Yeah, just took too much yeah. on. 27 disposals for the day. Free kick to Martin. Yeah, he's going to be lining up for goal number three. As yeah. you said, they're all looking for a fill here. He's played on. And kicked a goal. Yes, he has. Yeah, he's, uh, he tried that the, the previous shot of goal. Call it beautifully, Hutto. That's his third. Yeah, he's uh, down at 19 for the year. It's a familiar feeling for Rodney E this year, yeah, though, isn't it? it Injuries is. have really impacted his team's performance on the day. It's bad enough coming into a yeah. game under man, but when you continually lose one or two players, it, we've seen it today with Dixon uh, staying out there, but being yeah. injured. Nichols gone after half time, and Martin pretty much gone just after the half as well. Durability is a very underrated thing in league football, and most premiership teams, the top four teams, they they manage the play as well, but you need a little bit of luck as well. And, and Gold Coast have had none, none whatsoever. And do the percentage is really mounting now. Yep, look at that. They've gone right past Sydney now. Five and a half percent they've improved today, Ed. Yep, and uh, Bulldog game underway. So they're 118.9. That is a live ladder as we speak. Uh, Gold Coast out of the centre. Good kick up there from Garland, who's been pretty handy since he's come on. But Rance has been fantastic as well today. Yeah, that's Rance, a contested mark against Lynch on that occasion. So four and a half minutes for the Tigers to really cash in here at the MCG. Led by 25 points at quarter time, 17 after a late rally by the Gold Coast Suns in the second term. Injuries really got on top of them. 44 points at three quarter time. And now Dusty Martin is lining up for another one. Which one will bounce? It won't matter. It's through for a behind. Three goals, one to Martin. Delidio's kicked three goals, one as well. Rewald's got two. Lloyd has kicked three. Vickery's kicked three. And Lambert has kicked two. The major goal kickers for the Tigers in front of 38,508. Matera aiming up College Jasny, who thought, yep, I can take it and I can move off. And now Boston just held up in his tracks a little. Matera again confronted. Finds Bennell. His 19th disposal. Takes the Suns to half forward. Russell in combat with Hooley, who gets support from Morris. The boundary line's there. Guys, just a quick update on Jack Martin. He's still down in the rooms. He's sitting up with a couple of stitches in his head, and his family were all over from WA, all in these rooms, with him, in the room there, they're with him now. 
Thanks, Moose. Quick kick away. Lambert back to the wing. Got his own ball at the moment. Martin. He has. And Greek powering forward. Could sense there was some pressure behind, so kicks it to Lidio. And here's Conchin scampering after it, but he's well contained. <laughs> Delidio again. Roy bursting through the pack. Conchin. Oh, Stephen May has been fantastic, as we said. Has not stopped giving everything he can for his team and lays a big tackle. He desperately wants that goal in his 150th cot, doesn't he? <laughs> Silly enough, he handballed it off to Martin and then uh, Delidio got in his way. I think he'd be having some words about that. Hall, he hands it off to Colin Jasny. Bennell, and back to Colin Jasny again. He's racking up the numbers. His 27th disposal. Out to the wing. Morris is taking it back to half back. It's going via Alex Rance and it's going to end with Jake Batchelor. Hooley wants it short. Tiger fans say, come on, let's get it down quicker. Tiger fans realise there might be one, maybe two left in this if they can get going. Well, this is just beating uh, up your own numbers, yeah, Batchelor and Hooley. You take those four stats out of there. The book. Their high score of the year is 137 against Brisbane. So one more goal will mean it is their, their biggest number of the year. They're doing it the hard way, it has to be said. Vickery handballing it. Bachelor. Good scrap provided by Garlett. I think a few of the Tigers have said 77 will do. Let's just go home. Bit of keeping's off. So Ty Vickery's had a good day. He's kicked three goals in the ruck. Ivan Marich in his 150. He's very proud of his career and his day's work today. And so too the captain, Trent Cotchen. Game 150. So a minute 47 left on the clock. Tigers leading by 77 points. Vickery does the ruck work again and gets the tap. It's uh, Hall who's been fantastic today. He picked it up. Now the Tigers trying to run through the midfield. They can now. Ellis looks up. Deep. So Cotchen's the man. Yeah, Here's the lead. Him. And there's the mark. Yes, he's got it. Too far yeah. out. 55 yeah. metres, you'd have a shot, wouldn't you? Kick it tall. Yeah, go back and kick it. Uh, the consummate captain looks for a teammate. Well, well Stephen hands. May. Great. likes his teammate there, Stephen May. Nosed it over the line there, I think. He'll have a throw in the forward pocket. A minute 14, still time for Koch to maybe sneak one in his 150th game. So throw in. Big Ivan goes up. Pennell. Yeah. Yep. Tiger got the numbers back here. They put the wall up really well in this last uh, 10 minutes or so. Hurley flicks it up. Hunt. Yep. Now they go forward through Chaplin. Now wide open. Next kick is the one. Lennon. As you can see, how many people in that uh, 450? Hurley. Disgruntled yeah. murmurs yeah. coming from the Tiger. They wanted inside crowd. 50, Ed. Yep. Just get it in there. 40 the seconds. Matt Hurley. Cotchin on the lead again. They're trying to get it to him. Oh, they've got the kick. <laughs> Three patience. <laughs> and Big Ty can go back. And uh, by the time he lines up, it might be after the siren. Well, Damien Harwick uh, has been desperate to get Cotchin a, a goal. And he's 150th. But Ty was just in the right spot at the right time there. So Ty Vickery for goal number four. And an 83-point margin if he can kick this. And that is a good day at the office for the Tigers. As Danny Frawley said earlier, not only the four points, but a huge jump in their percentage at the business end of the season. And Ty Vickery will have to kick it 50 metres right on the siren. He comes right up to the line and kicks it long and strong and straight. And it just didn't get there, I reckon. Goal review after the siren. We had this last night, I think. No. I think it's the behind it's that the ball did not fully cross the line. Can we just check, please? Yeah, it can't be a, behind. It can't be a behind. It's got to be behind. It's either a goal or nothing. It's a goal or nothing. Look at it. Rebound's gone. No score, no score. No score. No score they're saying now. No well, that's a goal. goal. That's a goal. It's a goal. That's a goal. It is a goal. It's four to Vickery. That's, that's a goal. If you complete, confirm, goal. Goal. Bang. And the Tiger Army go up behind the goal. Big Tiger. 
he's got his fourth. Just snuck home then. <laughs> and the Tiger fans are wrapped. They win by 83 points in front of 38,508 the MCG. And they march towards September now, the Tigers. Needed that one today to not only stay in the eight, but to really push up for a top four position. And they got the points, they got the percentage, and they got away with that with that injury as well. That is the best day you could possibly have at this stage of the season. Let's go down to the captain, Trent, Trent Cotchin, with Cameron Mooney. Ah, uh, thanks, Ed. Cotch, it's been an up and down month for you guys, so today was just a really good solid performance for you, I thought. Yeah, it was. I mean, I think uh, our tackle numbers were pretty average early on. Uh, we still controlled the footy, which was a good thing from an offensive point of view. You always want to get better, though, and uh, I thought the boys played a pretty solid second half and just st stick to the structures, which was really important. Speaking of getting better, your last month in, in stoppages as well have been pretty poor from you guys. You set pretty high standards there, but today, absolutely dominated. Yeah, we got smashed last week and we were pretty embarrassed. I mean, you know, your work's done in and around the contest. Uh, it gives your forwards an opportunity and it lets your back set up strong. So uh, we were really, really embarrassed by our performance last week. Uh, the challenge was to bounce back and the boys came out and played. What about at the end there, just trying to get yourself a goal? I think the club was trying to get you going. The boys just kept getting in the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mate, it's a team game and that's why I love playing with uh, the boys. I think we've got a really good group now and we're really starting to click, which is uh, important for uh, successful football clubs. Fantastic mix down here at the minute, isn't it, forward line? 150 games, mate, for this big, beautiful club of yours. Must be proud. Yeah, I think it's something that I'll probably look back on once I'm uh, at the end, but, um, you know, you talk to the guys who have achieved it and, and life membership's really important at such a proud club with a rich history, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm humbled and happy that I've played 150. Hopefully I've got a few more in me. Good on you, mate. Appreciate <laughs> it. So Trent Cochin, 28 disposals today and uh, just played really good football. He uh, is a real talisman for this team, uh, Jason and Danny. When he plays hard and goes at it, they just find themselves that extra bit. And we saw earlier on he just willed the ball out for a goal that ended up going to uh, Dustin Martin. But uh, he really is a, a gun player in this Richmond side. He's developing into a very good leader, isn't he? And he, he certainly leads from the front. He's in and under. He's getting involved in the clearances. He, he wins plenty of his own contested football. There's no doubt about that with Trent Koch. But they are a powerful side now, the Tigers. We see the Suns leaving. That's a very undermanned Gold Coast Suns. There's probably, you know, there's probably eight or nine or ten of their best team not playing and haven't played for most of the season. So difficult times for them, but this is this is the story. How far can they go come September? Well, it was a great team performance, wasn't it? Yeah. McIntosh come off as a sub.